Alrighty, let me know if anyone's here and if you can hear my honest and true voice. Whoo wee. Hello, Delta Wave. Hello, Splitten. Hello, Jess Long, Ataki, Real Winter Sleep, Rev Legend, Daniez, ND, Box Tofu, 45, Salison, Sabugo, Oktrea, Mothman, Kyre, Midnight Note, Transcending Gal, Satu, Penguin Question Mark, Vesperian, Chovy, Stark Angel, Silver Squid, Bop War Bub, Sir Pisley, Golden Plato, Very Important Pizza, Bubble Tea Pop, Transcending Gauss, Mr. Chicken, Not Callista, Bruce Ironstaunch, Vardvar, Galactic Anthropologist, Avi Darling, Zagabis, Big Wayne the 26, Silver Fox, Sushi Fish, Illrath, Joel, Holy Moly, who did this BG? Vincent of Dow did the image, which is maybe the most reference laden image I've ever seen pertaining to the stream. I actually can't believe how much like weird reference shit <laughs> is in that. It's actually quite impressive how dense it is with uh, with stupid fucking memes. Um, you've got the blockhead from First Land. The overall thing is in a fear and hunger cave. You got the Kimiko Pot Scepter, the Estus Flask, the Rat, the Gnome, the Void Chest Hole Pendant, uh, the the Little Man Chihuahua. I'm also fat, so uh, <laughs> it's, it's quite impressive. It's quite impressive, I have to say. I thank you, Kratok, for the 11-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And yes, it has the rat ears as well. Thank you, Misa, for the raid. I appreciate it. I hope you had a good stream. Thank you, Something Hill Zone, for the 73-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Charizard. It's me, your dog. Just a robot mom. Heat a milk wing. Cry vodka. Bunyip. Tomato is a fruit. Rumbles. Hired Idealist, Microtonal Matt, Ark. Sir, I'm a useless Misa maggot, sir. She she condones you guys saying that, right? Like, she supports you guys saying things like that. Hello, Monochrome. Uh, thank you, Gravedigger Dampy, for the 31-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Tyranny, Genso, Cool Kai. You ain't in the shit pit, though? Well, that's okay. We don't always have to be in the shit pit. Hello, Glitch Wizard, Siamese Sneeze, Colonel Martyr, Fakey420, Zarks, Walking Talking Robot, a Damn PMK, Kelogen, She Does. Okay, well, I'm going to trust if Joelle and Oaktree are both saying she does, I agree. Uh, she probably does. Hello, Pit Panther. She made the mantra. I believe it. Hello, Mihawk. She doesn't want us to use the M in it, though. Okay. Uh, hello, Empty Perspective. Why is there a bunch of astrological symbols in the bottom left? Those are That's the curse of Little Man. <laughs> that's the curse of Little Man with wingdings. Hello, Avil, Flame Resistant. Bloomin. Picture of beignets and Oreos. I believe those are simply fried Oreos. If you're talking about the Discord one. The kind you get at the State Fair that'll give you diabetes. Hello, Evolve. I'm not personally a huge fan of fried Oreos, but uh, I, someone has to be or they wouldn't be selling them. What's with the little bird in your shoulder? I'm not sure. Hello, Yaminski. I was surprised that they didn't include the fucking goler in the skull because there's so much shit in there. Um, I don't know. That's like a... Like I said, it's impressively dense. It's like me. Birdcock? No, it might just be like a crow, mauler, fear, and hunger thing. I'm not sure. Little bird looks like a crow. Does the cookie of the Oreo stay hard after frying? Kind of. Where is the curse of little man? It's on the left. It's He's sitting there veering from the shadows. I, I tried to do like a cute little thing with the starling images and make them transparent in the background since it's not, it doesn't fill the entire screen. Only question I have is the shipwreck sidebar entity on the left is what I can't make out what monster is. That's Little Man. That's the dog. That's him. Beaver game reference. Hello, Mio. It's heckin' windy today. My power's gone out twice already. That fucking blows. That pisses me off. I don't think... Aside from being, like, shot in the balls or something to that effect or being stabbed, few things will ruin my mood quicker than the power going out. Hello, Hoifs. 
Slam Dunk Wizard. Where's Kimiko? She's the little scepter. Yeah, in the, uh, I guess the upper right hand, there's a little fucking bludgeon in the form of Kimiko. Hello, Vincent. Uh, man of the hour. Thank you for making this, dude. Hello, Ron M.U. I thank you, Thuras, for the 63-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I have cheddar, bloomin' onions, fried fish, and truffle fries. I don't know about the bloomin' onions, but the rest of it sounds pretty good. I could definitely go for some fried fish. Uh, thank you, Satu, for the four-year resub. Going for last bingo for a three-hour game. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, dude. God damn it. Uh, I think the last game that was recommended was the Barmic... Um, is doing two hours of Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, which is weird to me because I've played that one before because my little sister uh, bought it for the PS2 and I tried to beat it and it was too obtuse for me at the time. I, I've never beat that game. I never fucking got too far into that one. I remember it being some bullshit. So it'll be interesting revisiting it, that as someone who is mostly an adult might as well do something to repay it because I have no money. I actually am a terrible person. Like, if you guys make like art or something, you need to ping me. It's not like an it's not an inconvenience. I want to see, but you made this like three days ago, and I had no idea it was there because I don't regularly check the art channel, and usually people ping me. Um, and I had no idea. I just was like looking in there for one reason or another, and I'm like, wait, holy shit, what the fuck is this, dude? So, uh, thank you, Bunyip, for gifting us up to Vincent. Appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry for not... No, no, no. I'm not saying, like, you should be apologizing for it. It's just that I don't usually look in there, so you should... If you want me to see something, feel free to ping. Are your toenails black like that? No, I try to keep my feet very clean. I do not like having, like, dirt or anything gross on my feet. Um, really, uh really big on on foot hygiene imagine if you missed it for a month there's probably someone who made something for me that i never saw and like thought that i hated them and just left hello crave hello kurt off work tomorrow so i can play bingo today let's fucking go well we'll see think it's gonna be a harder than average night tonight i'm not gonna lie to you guys um the games i think the games look good but i don't know about how applicable they are for the purposes of bingo there's no spang bab uh, maybe I, but i don't know like I, I don't know just my my suspicion looking at the roster is that it will be harder than average but maybe it won't be maybe it'll be the opposite hello zary i think you saw the rat head gun i did i did you had like the little custom uh, rat head gundam i do remember that it was really fucking good i don't think i ever showed it on stream though I finally got here on time, and now I've been bingo castrated. Unless there was a second one that you made. Was it the... I believe it was like a Zaku with a rat head, right? My average bingo card is already CBT only won six times across all bingo streams. Well, maybe tonight will be your night. There was a second with Sif. I don't think I saw that one. Could you link it to me, please? I thank you, Freckled Horsebutt, for the 22-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I will get that Sif paw print. I'm going to start vetoing every single fucking thing you submit once you hit 24. I'm going to find... I'm All of a sudden, um, it's going to be like the tightest ass around. I'm going to be a stickler for every little detail. Um, I'm going to say, oh, well, this actually isn't a cryptid. Fuck you. Uh, get ready for it. I'm going to start posing severe resistance once you approach the point where I actually have to do something. You sound like you ate two McDoubles today? No. Uh, I wanted to eat Burger King today, but I'm on that weight loss journey. I, I decided to get my golden chicken that I usually get. Um, I've plateaued a little bit. I'm hovering around the low 170s. At that point, I would just give up. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I do think I'm a little too lenient sometimes, but uh, I'm not going to intentionally make things hard for anyone gonna scam yeah that would be fucked up right like these people are excited for bingo every week let's fuck them over <laughs> like, that would be really fucked up would not be a very kind thing at all i thank you nose neighbor for the nine month resub i appreciate it thank you very much 
to cite your sources when you send bingo. People do that, and I'm very much appreciative because sometimes I look at it and I'm like, oh, fuck. I don't remember that happening. Don't make life harder for my cousin. Require each bingo square to come with a clip from the stream. If you could just, like, briefly describe where the thing is, that would... You don't have to do that, but it would be... Like, I really appreciate the people who do. I think Otaki does that. Some other people do that. And it is, uh... I usually don't even check if they send me that because I'm like, yeah, I don't think uh, they're going to fucking scam me with this one. Ever look at your own ass in the mirror? Well, what do you mean by that? Like just my, my general ass or are we talking like more specific? At the asshole? No, but I have seen my ass in the mirror. I'll do it, but I never win bingos anymore, so probably don't need to worry about it. I, um... Remember, I used to watch the show on TV with my sister called Degrassi, and I remember there was this episode. I don't know if it's Degrassi or Degrassi. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that shit. It's not a real word. Fuck it. And there was an episode of like some person using like a mirror on the floor to look at their their genital parts. <laughs> so I don't know why that stuck with me. I don't. I've, I've never done that, but I remember like what the fuck? That's something people do. Hello, consent receiver. I mean, a timestamp or name? Just like the general description of the event that happened. Like, in this game, there was some, like some asshole masturbating in the corner. This new image is cursed as fuck. I think it's quite lovely. I enjoy it a lot. I think it is uh, extraordinarily impressive. Just can't imagine living for like 25 plus years and never seeing your asshole. What if there's like an ear back there or something? I don't know one I don't does it count as lost media if it's never been seen by anyone it, like because then if that's the case then my asshole is lost media and I take pride in that fact hello pop it at I like that this image has enough empty space for more stuff to get added later though I do miss the sif in the corner undiscovered media assholes off the grid hello jumpus only thing of Degrassi was some white dude shot Drake and he's on a wheelchair afterwards. Yeah, wheelchair Drake was pretty based. Your parents probably saw it. I don't think that counts, but yeah, I guess so. Miss Olivia throwing gang signs. Hello, Danny. Seven, oh wait, 724,840. Hello, Clay Young. I saw it. It looked sick. There's a really big third party tall geese coming out soon that's perfect grade size. I know you're, a, I think you've built like multiple tall geese, right? So maybe I should show you that. Is there any fear and hunger references in this art? I mean, aside from like the general style being fear and hunger. Um, I don't know. I guess if you really, really want to stretch it, there are gnomes in fear and hunger one. And there is like a weird little cave gnome, but I guess it's like a rare variety that wears clothes. Tall Geese 1, 2, and the Flugel 1. I'm just missing the Endless Waltz 1 that has the little Epian whip. Damn, dude. You got a type, huh? I'd like that with Death Sides. I have, like, three different ones. Sif hair was shameful. Let me see. Yeah, see, I've never seen this in my life. This is the first time that I've ever viewed this image. I'm sorry for missing it. It is a little scary. But it's scary in a realistic way. Hello, Brunearth. It's actually pretty accurate to how Sif looks in real life, especially when she wants a snack. Check this shit out. <laughs> like that. She makes that face. You can ask Autumn. She makes that face. Like, that is extraordinarily true to form. It is very, very good. Hold on. Let me see. What did I save the other one as? Okay, I just it saved as VG. I have to know the first letters to find it on my desktop. Then there's this. I think uh, think the only creature that could really have a chance against Sif is Banjo. Banjo's quite crazy. I think this would be a foregone conclusion. Hello, Romelia. That's awesome. So you, I know you've mentioned doing like three D printing stuff. Is that how you make the heads? This is some Sid from Toy Story shit. Maybe one day I should get into that sort of thing. 
It'd be interesting making some. Uh, that's a straight clay. Okay. Thank you for not using homosexual clay. You know, I miss doing pottery. Oh, that sounds. That sounds really cool, though. I like it when people get really unique with it. I try to have my own little style, but I don't. I don't really. Mine's just generic with my Gundams. I don't do anything particularly fascinating. Hello, dreams. Can you make a Sonic totem? I don't really want to ask people to do anything, but just to nobody in particular, a Sif totem in the style of the Sonic totem would be really fucking funny. <laughs> that shit would be hilarious. There are two wolves inside of me. They're both boys, and they're kissing. Apparently a homosexual act shaping the clay on the spinning thing. You think so? I thought this was a game. No, this is the new uh, pre-stream screen. The, the last one has been around for far too long. It's been a long time since we've had a change of pace. So, fungry ass motherfucker. God, I am... I am glad that Fear and Hunger made it into the mainstream, but I really... I don't know why they decided to call it Funger. Like, that sounds like some sort of horrible, like, fungal STD, which I guess is not... I mean, it, that would kind of fit in Fear and Hunger, I guess, but it's not, I, I do not like the Funger thing. <laughs> I do not like it at all, dude. Where is this image from? Vincent of Dow made it. Is the funniest part? Do you think so? Because I don't think it's that funny, but I have a weird sense of humor. It's like... It's like when, when people on Twitter try to infantilize serious subjects by giving it a silly little heckin' chungus name. Is what it reminds me of. And that's like a personal pet peeve of mine. What's funnier than Funger? I don't fucking know. When I'm thinking of, like, video games, I'm not thinking of ma making funny little pet names for them. What about saying... Yeah, it's like Eepy. It's exactly like Eepy. Oh, the heckin' Eeper in the Funger Caves. I don't know. Like, that's fine if you like that, but I just don't personally vibe with it. Right? My Funger is flaring up again this week. Funger sounds like a slur, TBH. Yeah, it's... I mean, I, I'm being a little too much of a hater right now, but I just don't understand why they decided on that. I mean, I do. I do. Fear and hunger, funger, but like, God. It's the funny necrophilia game. I think the second game being considerably more... Um, having those elements downplayed helped a lot. But yeah, it is a little surprising. Me, Angie, no talk to me. But at the same time... But I'm being ironic, Keelogen. Like, I'm making fun of it. Hello, cynical dude. It's totally different when you use things ironically, right? Don't sleep in the Funger Den. And I think I said that like a grand total of one time. I also said XDD in the clan chat today. So, but I'm not someone who uses XD. It's just sometimes you gotta say stupid shit. Sick of all these fucking... Okay, okay, consent receiver. Scepter reference to Zed Technician. No, that's Kimiko the Pot. All right, we need to do... Uh, we're Okay, we need to do like a close analysis of this. Like, look at it, dude. She's like holding her tits up and everything. It's the most... Sec I don't know what the little isopod thing is, admittedly. I'm not sure what that is. But the, the thing it's inside of is very clearly Kimiko. Isopod fish game? Maybe. I didn't think that one was impactful enough. Maybe? Wait, wait, wait. I see... Hold on. That's his little watermark right there. It's very small. You need to make your watermark bigger, brother. Um, so maybe that's him? I didn't even notice that until we were, like, zooming into it. I, I legitimately... It blends in so well with the background. Maybe that's the point. <laughs> Maybe that's the point, is it's very incognito. If you were someone who was prone to stealing, you probably wouldn't have taken note of that. So I guess that's the idea. I drew that. It blends a lot with the background. You did a good job. 
I think the only way you could have made it a little bit more incognito is if it wasn't near any point of interest that someone would want to zoom in on. Is this new stream background? Yes, it is. What's the face on the chest? I noticed that, but I'm not entirely sure either. What do you what do you guys think that is? I'm going to ask about shitwreck, but now I see the sides. Looks well the sides was my own doing. The twin you have okay, the twin that died in the womb with me that I devoured. All right, of course. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, my mistake. I don't think I, he's at, that's the closest he's ever come to actually existing outside of the womb. Like you drew his his visage. Jesus Christ. Hello, Clyde the Cash. Thank you, Stingray, for the 13 months. Let's watch the Boiled One Phenomenon. What is that? I've never heard of that in my life. Is that another ARG, like, uh, analog horror sort of thing? What about the piss vase? What piss vase? Maybe I should watch more things on stream. I think chat really likes it when I play King Cobra cooking videos. It was kind of funny when we watched The Man in the Suit, too. Not tonight, but maybe. I'm open to the idea of watching more shit. Just stop trying to be like a fucking contrarian. Just be a reacting idiot like everybody else. Be an asshole. Welcome back, Misa Coco. Part of the pre-stream, so we watch one video together as a family. Well, the boiled thing sounds like it would be a series. I think with those, it's best if you just watch all of it in a row. Instead of piecemealing it. Tolo is my King Cobra. I'm not ready. Tower Unite stream. I don't know if it'll be Tower Unite for that. But uh, maybe. Hello, Henze. Just like in a pre-stream at some point. I don't know. I'll have to look how long it is roughly. Like what the runtime is. The video I found of it is 10 minutes long. Oh, this one's going to be a problem. Because it says that I need to... Is this age restricted? Watch the entirety of Petscop. Honestly, I have watched Petscop and Petscop analysis so much, I would never want to do that. Hello, Lizardly Liz. Like I have like beaten that horse to death. <laughs> it is one of my favorite uh, horror things on the internet. But like enough is enough at some point, right? Hello, Pop Tart. What's up, baby? Oh my God, you look horrible. What the fuck are you wearing on your face? Makeup. <laughs> why are you why are you making like Tamor inspired makeup again? Practice. <laughs> Dude, it looks I mean it looks lovely, baby. <laughs> it the lips look just like the clown one, honestly. <laughs> like it's identical. I look terrifying. Yeah, she's trying to practice makeup, so Maybe, you know, there's some ladies in the chat. Maybe you should ask them for, you know. I no. did this on purpose, by the way. I know. <laughs> That's I wouldn't, if I, I thought it was an intentional, like an unintentional thing, I would not have said you look horrible. I'm just saying, like, maybe Eugenia can give you the hot makeup tips. I don't know if anyone can help me. <laughs> give the ladies in chat advice. New otter emote time. I've literally smeared this lip stuff all over my face have you been crying no it's making my eyes water because i, li I tried to line my water line um and it hurts yeah you look like you've been crying <laughs> you seriously it's, look like you're it's like been leaking like if you if someone uh -huh. took a picture of you right now and posted it on reddit and gave it like a little story like this receptionist was treated so poorly by customers she came in as a joker <laughs> and shot 14 people dead i'd believe it i'm gonna go take a picture of it <laughs> <laughs> tolo i did something bad today what's that hello i like to paint hello moon watching valkuma I like to use doo doo feces as makeup. That's kind of gross. The eyeliner may be too scratchy or your eyes might be extra sensitive slash allergic. Never put on makeup. I've had makeup put on me a couple of times, but not really much of a makeup guy. I've never done that shit that some dudes do where they experiment and paint their nails either. I feel like that's one of the 
I don't know if there's any science behind it, but if I see a guy who's like painting his nails, I'm like, okay, trans for sure. Like, 100%, dude. Like, I don't know. But then again, I guess King Cobra paints his nails. I don't get the impression that he's secretly trans or anything like that. It might just be goth. Or, yeah, either, either trans, gay, or goth. Clear nail polish is manly as fuck. Also, dads, don't assume. No, I'm going to assume. I'm going to make an ass out of all of us. Painting your nails is just classy. Some people just gender express differently. Daughter wanted my nails painted. That's different. Like if you're like I, you know, there have been times in my life where, where women have wanted to put makeup on my face and I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's not the same thing as being like, I want to look snatched today <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, right? I paint my nail once and I'm gay, so you got that right. I downloaded a mod to give my Elden Ring character max stats on my first playthrough. Damn. I painted my GS and she painted mine because she can. It was fun. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I guess I'm wrong. Um, I don't know. There's just been instances where I've seen people do that and then, like, you fast forward and it's like, oh, well, I'm trans now. It's like, okay, it's happened enough times that it's just, you know, I see a pattern. Maybe the, maybe my anecdotal evidence is wrong, you know, God forbid, but I don't think painting nails determines or reveals your sexuality. Nail painting always looks nasty to me. I don't know. I don't know. Souls games grinds are just so tiresome. Well, do what I did and don't grind at all and just beat the game at level one. Um, it's easy. It's free. Just use the straight sword that has the square off ability and you'll just beat everything on the first try. It's overpowered. As an empath, painted nails has helped me see the true auras of man. I knew both straight and gay people in school who painted their nails so it could vary. Gendering stuff like that. No, I don't think it's weird at all. Like It is absolutely atypical for straight men to paint their nails. Like Whether you like it or not. Um, that is bizarre. Like, it's not, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing bad, but that is absolutely atypical. And I think, uh, you know, whether that's because of society or whatever, I have no fucking clue. I hope you are well on this day and enjoy discovering the tarot card telling of painting your nails. Shouldn't be, well, um, bizarre. I mean, atypical and bizarre. No, I'm not, Ark. I've been in California plenty. I still didn't see a lot of that there. I didn't live there or anything. But I don't know. I think you guys are biased on this one. I think you you guys are absolutely biased. Because, uh, you know... <laughs> Gendering stuff is fine, in my opinion. This is weird when you start using it to shit on other hobbies. Now, I hope it didn't come across as me doing that. I hope you didn't infer that me saying that I suspect... Uh, men who paint their nails are, are transgender was a uh, shitting on people's hobbies. Hello, please choke me, daddy. I'm just going to say that I've never met a straight guy who paints his nails. Maybe, but I see it pretty often where I live in mass at work and such. Only cis, straight, white male in here is Tolo. It feels that way sometimes. It's definitely not the standard for men, but it's becoming more common. I agree that it is becoming more common. I just don't. I don't know. Like, I don't see the point. Maybe I'm damaged. Uh, there's never been a point where I'm like, wow, I really want to either paint my nails or have those, like, cumbersome looking acrylics or anything like that. The only thing I've ever thought when I see my nails is, wow, that one's getting kind of long. I should probably, uh, I should probably go do something that'll make me nervous so I chew it down. <laughs> That's about the only thought I've ever had pertaining to my nails. Hello, Zero TB. See the story of the woman in New York getting kicked out of her home because of squatters? No, no. I'm trying to go on a, I'm trying to do embargoes with the news so I don't become political Omeo and just like regurgitate whatever the political bullshit happening is is to be happy well what i'm saying is like that wouldn't make me happy whatsoever it would just be like oh i don't i don't give a shit 
poop particles underneath you. Maybe if you don't wash your hands too often. I think I could be convinced that painted nails are good, but even girl nails don't look that great painted. You see many men who are straight cis paint their nails, but they were all metalheads and biker dudes. Yeah, I, I feel like that's kind of, maybe not the bikers, but like goths do it too. Like gothic bad boy King Cobra JFS. Thank you, Never Lucky, for the 51 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I think I'm too embarrassed to show a photo. That's okay. Paint my nails since high school, but because of work, it ships away too fast. I don't do it as often. I guess I'm like the only person in here who's not painting their nails. Maybe I am like out of touch. Hello, Will Daka. Athletes paint their nails because acrylic helps. Re Wouldn't you be able to just do like a clear coat on that though? Like, would you, would you have to paint it? Because you do that for Gundams so their water slides don't get fucked up. But you, t you top coat that shit. Worked with nail products for two and a half years and I'm still terrible with them. Really grinds my gears. Or nail extensions. Don't know what demon has to possess. Have you seen the... We have like one of the scary Freddy Krueger Walmart greeters. Where it's like an old woman with like five, six inch long nails. Like dog, your nails should not be longer than my penis. This is making me feel insecure. Please take them off. <laughs> like, it's, it's crazy. Why not paint it as well? Because uh, I don't get any gratification out of changing the color on. It's like why I don't do makeup. Like, I just don't care. You got to do it for yourself, right? Um, you know, people are saying that makeup is just for self-empowerment. That's fine. But what if you get no, no gratitude... Or no gratification or uh, self-empowerment from it whatsoever. What's going on, kid? Acrylic nails don't look comfortable. Be bitching at painting nails. I would be better than maybe the average sissy because I paint like details on Gundams with markers. And if you move like a nanometer in the wrong direction, oops, you smeared an adjacent part. Now it's all fucked up. Um, so maybe I'd be okay at it. Wouldn't be great, but Gundams are a slippy slope for nail painting. Well, it's surprising how much overlap there is. Like, you use nail files for Gundams. You use uh, panel liner, eyeliner is kind of similar. I, I have right here, actually, funnily enough, what is this? It's like acrylic nail polish. Um... Like, it's a top coat for nails that I use for uh, Gundams to tighten pegs so that they have a little more friction and they don't sag. So, there is, in airbrushes, I think makeup people use those sometimes. So, there is actually a ton of overlap. So, maybe I could be like a, come to Tolomeo Slaying Station. I'll, I'll cover your pegs in top coat and panel line you. Got any wrinkles? I'll fill them in. Just, uh, I charge extra if you're pop it after Misa. I have my nails grown out for a guitar, but they aren't too long. Oh, don't look at me like that, pop it app. Can you paint my face like a Spider-Man mask? Maybe if you've got enough wrinkles on them. Mesa, dude, the Mesa Coco King Cobra shout out is so good. I like how it's a package deal. Whenever we get like a, well, I say we, like Cooler Matt gets someone to do a cameo. It's always, there's always has to be me and Misa in the same go. Like it can't just be one or the other. One time I was painting a model then I accidentally started putting on makeup. And before I knew it, I was a hot fucking drag queen. I was slaying so hard that my parents had a heart attack. Okay. Um, discrimination? No, I literally am not discriminating against you. I tell people to stop using emotes all the time. They were throwing bricks at me yesterday. And I told and the day before, and I was telling them to knock it the fuck off. Misa got a Cobra shout out. Yeah, uh, I guess I could show the fucking video again. Like, why not, right? Let me find it. See, don't tell Autumn I said this. She sent me these, like, pictures. But in the first one, she looks kind of hot. Like, despite the makeup being, like, joke makeup. Maybe this is like the pipeline to the clown pussy thing. Um, okay, anyways. King Cobra. Hey, cheers to Mesa Coco. Happy birthday. 
And there's another person on here by the name of Tolomeo. <laughs> he did one. better on my name I'm than, than Mises. Need. It's pretty straightforward. You want to use Diet Coke for your mead, <laughs> then I would use that as the base liquid. Then you want to add a bunch of pure cane sugar to that. And some uh, some honey. Oh Stir my that god. Until it's all dissolved in the Diet Coke. And you want to add like a little packet of uh, wine making yeast. I'd recommend like 1114 if you're not in a rush to wait. But if you want to get it done quicker, I'd use turbo yeast. There are plenty of mead making videos out there on YouTube, including my own. So check them out. And uh, right now I'm sipping on this delicious cherry wheat. That's most definitely what's up. But I found out lore about this earlier. I was reading the Discord. I don't... Cooler Matt says some things sometimes that are not necessarily in line with reality. It's kind of funny because when I met him in real life, he's really not all that much like he is in the Discord. Um, it's hard for me to like separate the two because the way he acts online is is kind of strange sometimes. He says things that maybe are not entirely truthful frequently. <laughs> but he and and the discord he was talking about how like vetus actually funded this video which sounds completely bullshit um but if you look at the link for the fucking thing it's like from vetus salivahis but he could have just like faked that and made that like put in vetus's name for whatever reason but there's a remote possibility that Vetus had a hand in this King Cobra shout out, and it's getting weird. <laughs> it's, it's very strange. I'm not sure why. I saw that, and I thought for sure there was going to be like a Tamor or a Vetus reference. But no. That's the name he bought it with? That's probably the explanation. But then he said in Discord that Vetus paid for it. But I have a hard time believing that. I don't think that's true. But you never know. Would you do a collab stream with Cobra? I don't know if that would be a good idea. Um, okay, so a couple things about that. I learned from my brief acquaintanceship with Dark Side Phil that if you are even remotely in the orbit of any of these people you immediately get like crazy psychopaths like coming into your chat and your twitter dms and saying all sorts of dumb shit i don't know if i would want to deal with king cobra orbiters or other people in the cobra verse like the people i'm gonna be straight up with you one of the strongest signs that i'm brain damaged is that i watch these people like king cobra and like in the past dsp because half of the people in the comments are worse than the people they're making fun of. <laughs> like, straight up. Like, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Like, you, you just see the way they type and you're like, yeah, this person is like one fucking, like, one, one Diet Coke can to the head from being, like, in a group home. Like, they're barely, like, the way they talk makes them seem like they have something wrong with them. Um, maybe that's a little bit judgmental, but combined with the things they say, it's like, okay, well, I think King Cobra and Cyrax especially seem to have like a uh, really dumb group of people who follow their content. So, you know, that says great things about me considering I watch both. Hello, Skewy. So that alone, would, like, my honest answer would be no, because I wouldn't want to attract, like, the ire of any of these waterheads. <laughs> because I remember with DSP, it's like, before I knew it, I had, like, all sorts of weird fucks coming into my chat saying, like, I'm scamming my viewers for money because if I'm associated with DSP, I must do, like, begathons like DSP does. Um... I had a guy, like, come in here really confused, saying, like, how much did you pay DSP to suck his cock to stream on his channel? Because he was so fucking dumb, he didn't understand what the hosting function on Twitch was. And I tried explaining it to him for, like, 30 minutes, and it never got through. Like, I'm telling you, like, these people are brain dead. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Robot, for the 31-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zamonica, for the one-year resub. 
And they're very sensitive, too. Like, you would be... You would think that people who spend, like, significant portions of their day legitimately just shitting on people anonymous, anonymously on the internet would have, like, a little bit of a thick skin, right? But you would be wrong. Because I remember during this DSP thing, I said that, you know, DSP is not... He does fucked up things. He makes mistakes, for sure. I don't... You know, me talking to DSP is not tacit approval of everything that man does. But sometimes the people who, you know, he does have a point, like some of these people who follow him and do these things to him are legitimately fucking stupid and almost is, I would say some of them are worse. Uh, some of them are just like reprehensible people and they get carried away with things. I specifically made the point that DSP had that bit where he like masturbated because he forgot to put the brake screen on, right? Um... And he jacked off. You couldn't see anything. But he you could clearly see that he was beating off on camera. And before you knew it, that was being spun as DSP intentionally masturbates in front of children. Now, that's kind of funny. But that's like an insane spin on what happened. Like an unbelievable fucking misrepresentation of the truth. Like, that is just not... What happened? Um, if you're saying it is a joke, he he, funny, that's fine. But I, I assure you, there are plenty of people who who don't joke about that. And I was immediately proven right because at the time, a lot of the weird DSP people were like uh, mentioning me in Twitter, saying things like, "You're on thin ice, buddy. I'm gonna record all of your vods, and if you slip up, I'm reporting you to Twitch." Legitimately, was that was said to me. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I didn't respond to any of them because they were all stupid. But they were like surveying the chat for a while. And it was really funny because like the day after I made that remark that sometimes the people who follow DSP in particular misrepresent the truth. One of them made like a 30 minute long expose on me. <laughs> called Dark Side Tolo, which I still haven't watched to this day. Because I watched the... Oh, I can't say what I want to say because the blueberries are here. And I was going to say something mean. Uh, thank you, Blueberry Brioche, for the 49-month resub. I hope you had a good stream. What's up, dog? Hello. DTS Crit. Blusion. NL Spectre. Mookie Pookie. Railbird. When Life Hands You Lemon. Rancid Fan 21. Ender. Nerdy Beach Bum 299. Wizard of Az. Hope you're all having a good weekend. Hello. We love being mean. Well, the dude who made that video seemed like he had, uh, I can't, if it, I would have, I had the perfect word to use to describe him three years ago, and I'm trying to think of something now that would be appropriate. Thank you, Sir Clud, for the 26 month three sub. He seemed like maybe he wasn't all there mentally. Um, he seemed like, I don't know, just like, maybe that's a me problem. Because perhaps it is not kind to watch one minute of a person speaking and say, yeah, this guy has, like, brain damage. Maybe that's not charitable. <laughs> but that's, like, genuinely the impression I got. It's like, wow, this dude is like, what the fuck is this shit? So, I don't know. Maybe it was, like, maybe it was, a, like, an ESL situation. But anyways... The point that I was trying to make is I said sometimes these guys like make extreme exaggerations and misrepresent the truth in regards to DSP. So they immediately decided to prove me right by taking that and making a 30 minute video about how I'm dark side to Lomeo. Uh, and that's why I won't ever collaborate with King Cobra JFS because I think it would be kind of funny. But then you would have all of these people who are just like bullying people like DSP and King Cobra all fucking day in here. And it would be mad annoying. Like the reason I brought all of that up is not to like specifically be mean, but just to point out that like uh, it would fill the chat with reprobates, <laughs> not the fun kind of reprobate. Watch out. Bouncing berries have arrived. God. Hello, the memo. Now I kind of want to eat berries.
You gotta stop doing this shit to me. I'm on a weight loss journey. Hello, Gray Sketch. Will you still love me if the clown makeup isn't coming off? Yes, baby. Hello, pointy Superman. Hello, Wrighton. Are all of you blueberry heads having fun with bingo? I hope there's no trouble in... I guess I'm I'm not referring to my bingo that I'm doing tonight. I'm referring to the Elden Ring bingo that uh, Bree is participating in. I hope there's no trouble in paradise. I hope everyone who's participating is uh, evenly tempered and sportsmanlike. And, you know, there's a whole lot of fun involved. Can't wait to not get a bingo again. Tolo loves clowns. Confirm. Of course, there's no drama, surely. It would be a shame. It would be a shame. It's just video games. We should all, like, just have fun, I think. But I remember, you know, it, it seems like an asinine idea now, but I remember the Souls days. I remember how it seemed like you could go out of your way to try to mind your own business and people would still find a way to get upset with you. I think uh, that was one of the, I don't know, it, it was a lot. Like people got really carried away um, in 2015, 2016 with the soul stuff. So I hopefully it's a little better these days. Games are not for fun. Sometimes games are just for dopamine stimulation. I don't know if you could realistically describe that as fun. Remember when you were a Bloodborne streamer? Yeah, for like five months. And then I was a Dark Souls 3 streamer. It's weird because I stopped playing like Souls and doing challenge runs all together in 2017. So there were two years where that was my main thing. And we're approaching seven <laughs> where I have done things other than Souls. And I have a feeling... As the Elden Ring DLC grows nearer, people are going to be asking me to play that. How are you doing, Spilal? Eidolon is straight up a dopamine game. It comes to speed runs and challenge runs and stuff. It, no, I get competitiveness, but it's the sign of a weak competitor to be like creating drama and getting fussy and pissy. Um, it's always the worst people who are that way in my experience like it's never the people who are actually good at the game who are starting the drama it's always it's always the people who are like the remoras you know what i mean like i said i don't have any inkling what the current elden ring climate is like but from my lived experience back then that is absolutely how it was um it was never the people who should be talking who yapped the most you should play Dreams, Dark Souls, Clones when the DLC comes up. That'd be kind of funny. Hello, Banrick. I'm not great. How are you? I am decidedly neutral. I don't know how to feel today. I'm uh, just kind of here, you know? Not good, not bad. Just in just a driftwood day. One of those days where you realize all you are is driftwood and all you can do is sit there and let the current take you wherever it's going to take you. Will it be a fun place? I hope so. <laughs> but maybe it won't be. Tolomeo is my favorite Disney Flash game streamer. Do you feel like a plastic bag blowing through the wind? I guess Driftwood is kind of similar. I suppose that's more or less the same idea being expressed. So sure. In a perfect world though, I want to get back to this. I would like to talk to King Cobra. Um, I think that would be an interesting conversation. I don't know how that would go. He is rightfully intensely suspicious and paranoid of anyone who tries to contact him, especially people who stand to make money on the internet, which is a very understandable position for anyone. So, I don't know. I wonder how many people have just tried to genuinely be his friend. Like, out of all the people over the years who have messaged him, how many people were like, hey, Cobes, you want to play, like, Grand Theft Auto or something? Want to hang out? Want to kick it? Because it feels kind of gross, right? Like, if I wanted to talk to him, I would probably not want it to be, like, a stream thing because that's kind of gross. Thank you, Cracky Poppy, for the six-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Cooler Matt. Hello, Jiggly. Be so crazy paranoid if I was him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he. This we're talking about a guy who had someone say that they were a uh, 
a fan and they made a documentary about him and then like shit talked him like immediately after the documentary was done and it was a surefire thing that they could upload they dropped the mask and were they said mean things to cobra so that make anyone suspicious regular matt you're cooler matt to me damn what an asshole yeah i mean it is what it is right hello glitchy bug I want to talk about drama. I want to talk about the cheese may. I want to start problems. I'm in a problem starting mood today, I think. <laughs> that's that's a more accurate description of how I feel. I feel like talking some shit. I feel like uh causing a bunch of inconveniences. Drama YouTuber arc? No, I don't think so. Just feeling slightly mischievous. Tolomeo Star, let's make some drama. I think Zarabak smells bad. Saw uh, the last time I th I saw Keem Star was actually somewhat recently. He he, I guess um, he took credit for causing Keffels to t smoke crack, and was gloating about it, and got like a hundred people in the replies saying they will be like popping the champagne the day that Keem Star dies. I think that's the only thing I've heard from Keemstar in, like, years. <laughs> that's, that's, like, the only thing I, I, have, I have heard from him. I've never been big on, like, the Keemstar drama, like, leafy shit. Should say some shit about other streamers? I don't really have a... The only streamer I can think of that comes to the forefront of my mind that I genuinely don't like right now is Boogie. Boogie can eat a bag of dicks. I thank you, CY9N, for the 77-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, I don't really have too many problems with people. I just like to mind my own business. As long as people let me mind my own business, I'm chilling. I think that there are very few times where I am the instigator. But I guess Boogie hasn't necessarily done anything to me. I just think he's reprehensible in ways that specifically push my buttons who boogie 2988 and i need to stop fucking talking about him because you know it doesn't matter how you feel about them just stay say stuff to start drama no that's fucking annoying i don't want to do that you got to have conviction in it like if you're going to start drama you have to have your your heart into it you have to say it with your chest the crack era of boogie is going to be really cool i feel like i'm a little put on the spot though because Blueberry Brioche rated me, and she has a chat that sometimes I feel like I I want to talk in there, but I'm a little too, um, what's the word? I'm too much. I'm too, like, deranged to speak in chats like that, and she sent them here, and now I'm like, oh, my God, I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I need to, I need to talk about, like, nice, wholesome things. So, actually... I have a wholesome thing to show you. Speaking of which, controversial... No, I'm just kind of an asshole. Uh, it's not really, like, controversial. I don't say anything particularly controversial. I'm just, like, generally unpleasant. Hold on. Irreverent? I mean, yeah, I guess that, too, but... Just not a... What's up, Chicken Strip? able to get most of it off i think nice it's hard for me to tell though my face is raw does it hurt after scrubbing makeup off for too long yeah and i got soap in my eye trying to get it off my eyes and i still can't get it off my water line makeup arc is over and literally this is why i freaking hate makeup yeah it sounds like a uh it's so annoying sounds like a pain in the ass it is i don't envy why women do... with that like what that sounds like a huge fucking face nightmare wash. face wash i use face wash you're kind, but not nice. I like to think so. I think when it comes down to it, ultimately, I will usually do the kind thing. But I'm definitely not nice uh, most of the time. I guess I have my moments. Chat's so pleasant, I'm afraid to talk into it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like... Th but that's a lot of chats. There are not a lot of chats where I feel... Because um, I I I've, like, started fights in people's chats before just by saying stupid shit. So... 
remember like one time i when i was a baby streamer back in like 2015 there was uh i think he still streams his name's squilla killer and in his chat he he was always nice to me he's always been kind to me i have no problems with him whatsoever but i remember one of the first impressions he must have had of me was probably wholly negative because i went in there and some idiot was saying like challenge runs and speed runs are not like uh they don't count unless they have like 99 insight when they do them i guess because the monsters get like new patterns and attacks at 99 insight which is just not true it's categorically incorrect and i told him how i felt about it <laughs> like i told him he was stupid and it became like an imbroglio really quickly so i i, I don't know just have trouble letting uh letting things like that slide bingo question what is zero self-preservation that's if like it's like a horror movie protagonist who's like oh gee well uh, it's dark outside someone just turned the power off guess i'm going to go shit in the woods imbroglio no i-m-b-r-o-g-l-i-o it's an exceedingly embarrassing and complicated situation it's like um it's it's like a nightmare Fuck that dumbass call his shit out and humiliate him. No, but it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter at all. Have you ever eaten cookies before dinner? Sometimes I've eaten cookies for dinner. No, no. E. No, no, no. I M B R O G L I O. When are you going to poop? I had my weekly bowel movement earlier today. This, those 313 games where someone says, don't open the door, they're murderers, and they open the fucking door do it again no i'm not gonna do it again it's not in broccoli it's not inflatio the moment i lose power i go into survival mode and start with cannibalism right away weekly i don't usually shit that often unless i'm eating a ton of pickles it's like my only source of fiber i haven't been eating my pickles lately i um you know i just how people always express surprise when i say that how do you think i would stream if i got rid of all of my shit I need to be full of shit to come on here and talk to you guys. You think I'd be able to do this shit if I had a bowel movement every day? Lost a spelling bee because I didn't say capital P when spelling Prometheus. Was Prometheus <laughs> like, the, like the fucking Greek god of WWE promos? Is that like Hulk Hogan? The internal pressure really keeps Tolo on his toes. Zero self-preservation with self-harm suicide? No, 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 no. No, it's like, uh, oh shit, I'm gonna run out and die. I'm not dying, guys, come on. Freaking laughing. Thinks he's a god of some kind? Well, I, I was making a joke about spelling it Prometheus instead of Prometheus. Oh, but maybe I'm fucking the disabled one. Maybe it is spelled like that. I feel like it isn't, but I'm from Texas. Hold on. I need to fucking up. I need to show you my thing that I was going to show you. It's really important. So when we were returning from Oklahoma, we at one point we had all four of the dogs in the car and Autumn got this picture of a like a literal fucking dog pile. Yeah, a dog pile. I'd be surprised if you could spell any word besides whataburger. Yeah. Disabled one as Otter does whatever. And Little Man was in my lap. That's why he's not pictured here. Dog Mountain? Yeah, yeah. They were, uh... <laughs> they were passed out. Like, yeah. Daisy and Banjo were just... They were emotionally drained being in doggy daycare for two days, so... <laughs> Sif looks really chill. She's really good. Like, Sif is a very non... I don't know... It's, she has her moments. She likes being the only dog, but like she's never makes a peep while in the car. She, I when I go to like do a late night Whataburger run, I let her out, no leash, nothing, and she just runs to the car and sits until I let her inside. And she jumps in, she comes back inside. Just in a lot of ways, she is the ideal dog. She does not need. Um, she doesn't. She doesn't do hood rat shit. When I had a grooming table, she used to jump on the grooming table when it was time to give her a maintenance trim of her own volition, which I've never seen a dog do that in my life. 
picture looks like heaven. Gee, it's already nine o'clock. These pre-streams are getting a little too long. Grooming table. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've I worked it for my mom's dog grooming business at one point, doing like bathing and stuff. So I I know a little bit about how to groom a dog. I'm not great at it, but um I know how to do a maintenance trim. Know how to uh cut the nails properly and not quick them. I know how to do the exciting anal gland expression. Yeah. Wish my dick got longer with age. Yeah, that would be great, right? Poppy tries to jump on our grooming table when it's time to dry her. That's what's up. Hello, machine gun weasel. Can you give me a maintenance trim? No, I've never, I've never done any sort of maintenance trim on a human being. Who drew this, by the way? Vincent of Dow did. I almost missed it because it was posted in art and I wasn't pinged and I don't check there often. Dog has made half my family not want another dog because they're afraid the new dog won't be as good as she is. Yeah. Yeah. We there have... What? There are so many good dogs in the world. I promise you'll find another one. But, um... I don't know. Did you like that job better than security? No. Uh, thank you, Usagi, for the 72 by 3 sub. I appreciate it. Good investment? I mean, it, it's not the worst investment. Okay, straight up. Like... Okay, maybe subscribing to me in the long term is not a wise investment, but at least, like, I'm not fucking running, like, commercial breaks on your ass nonstop. I'm not constantly hustling you with subathons and sub goals and shit. There, there are worse investments on this website, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm just going to put it that way. There are better ones, too. Don't get me wrong. It's not the best, for sure. But uh, you could do worse. Your dog would teach new dogs the ropes. Don't worry about that. I don't think anyone in my family will be dog-free for long. I don't think I could go without a dog either. Well, we have four now. Um, also, the emotes are pretty good, too, in my humble opinion. The rats are good as well. A hey, thank you, Logan2131, for the resub. What's up, dude? How have you been? You, uh, you done with the hell divers? I'm still waiting for wheelchair girl emote. Nothing without... No, it's definitively a bad investment, Wasabi. You don't even... An investment, usually you get something out of it, right? In some respects, it could be the worst investment because there are, like, no benefits whatsoever to subbing. Like, you don't even get sub-only hugs or, like, sub-only uh, gaming sessions. I thank you that do it for the 53-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. There's no sub-only Discord or anything like that. My job is miserable, so I want to die. But other than that, being chilling, hopefully it gets better. But it, it doesn't. It doesn't really do that often, huh? We have community nights, and that's probably every once in a while. I um. I don't know. Like I want to do more like community stuff, but I don't know what people want. I don't have, like, a good measure on that sort of thing. Economy shit? Oh, no, dude. Like, that's just... If you don't... Like, times are tough, and even if they aren't, like, this is basically, like, if you're ever thinking, should I give money to a fat fucking loser on the internet? You should ask yourself a singular question. Can I go outside right now and buy a bone-in ribeye with all the fixins and leave a 20% tip? Um, if you can't do that comfortably, you should probably not give money to people on the internet on any level. Um, it is not important. <laughs> it is not. It's really, uh, you know... I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not trying to say people who sub are not important, but, like, you really should never worry about things like that. Did you play Dead Cells? I couldn't get into that one. I have played it. Fat fuck is giving you good entertainment? I mean, it's, it's, let's be real. Like, streamers are, like... Is there a more extreme version of the saying a dime a dozen? Like, there's like 700 gorillion motherfuckers on this website who could be entertaining you right now, right? What's the image referencing? It's me, dude. It me. 
don't feel like you throw away 100 bucks and don't give away exactly yeah basically like the you know i appreciate the subs and stuff but you really need to look after number one and number one in your life is you um and you should be if you can't be blowing money on nice things for yourself you definitely shouldn't be giving it to uh internet people i don't use streaming services outside of twitch so for like six dollars a month it's a bargain to me of all the VTubers, you were my Ugu Sugoi Oshi Tolo Mamlo. You gotta take care of yourself before you can take it. Yeah, you need a good foundation. Even if we're talking about like personal relationships in your life, you can't build anything worthwhile on a foundation of sand. Like it's noble to want to help people, but you need to make sure that you're solid and okay. You know, maybe in some senses that's financial maybe in some senses you can use that as like um you need to be emotionally okay before you can start like being your friend's therapist right giving you money helps you keep you streaming that's what we all want really sure but like just don't stress about it is what i'm saying like i appreciate it but it's you know shit is if you're a streamer, you got to acknowledge that when times are tough in terms of like the general economy, you know, you are going to be the first thing people cut. And that's okay and understandable and good and whatever. It just comes with the territory, right? You know, when 2020, when people had the COVID money, it was the opposite. So you have to take the good with the bad. You haven't gotten a nice steak in a while. And you got the money. Treat yourself. Um, yeah, I've been eating good personally lately been having some good fucking steaks hello magnet what if emotes what brings me joy and i said that's fine like you can do it i'm not trying to dissuade you i like it when people give me money don't get me wrong just saying there shouldn't be a level of stress or about because people have said like something along the lines of oh i used to be sub but now you know i'm not and you know times are tough and just it just i don't care um it it I know every streamer probably says that, but, like, fucking, I don't give a shit. Like, uh, in terms of, I'm not going to be like, oh, why is this guy not sub to me? I just want to play video games. I just want to talk about inflation pornography. I want to talk shit about Boogie. Um, that is what is on my the forefront of my mind. Apologize for not paying the Tolomeo tithe. No one has to explain to streamers how they spend their money. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's all good. Big chillin'. Five dollars. Hello, Carnadan. I hope nobody throws a brick at me. This is a this is a very, very heavy brick war zone these days. It's been an hour, it's five dollars. I think I've seen what you're referring to. Any streamer in guilt goes you into subbing? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, if you're ever being pressured into giving a streamer money, I think that's no good. Um, it's, it's kind of gross. I'm torn on it personally, because on one hand, you know, streaming is something that does not exactly build long-term career prospects. So I don't really hold it against other streamers who want to make as much money as possible while they can. But I, it just, it it rubs me the wrong way personally i'm so cheap i actually have a working ad block for twitch yeah that's fine too um i use ad block i would be a hypocrite if i told people not to use ad block i i do not know how people watch youtube without ad block i already get mad enough when they have like the oh and speaking of which this is a nice segue in today's sponsor we're gonna talk about and i just want to fucking punch them in the mouth every time like i get it like i don't really hold it against them i'm not really mad but holy fuck dude come on <laughs> please gotten good at tuning the ads out i can't do it i cannot do it autumn is really good at uh tuning them out but i can't fucking do it sponsor block for youtube i need to find that today's video is spot yeah i just another useful tool is one that youtube added where you can see like what parts of the video get skipped to most frequently and that's if there's like a huge spike that usually means that that's where you need to go in order to uh, get to the part of the video that doesn't suck did you ever play castle crashers i did i did but i haven't i haven't played a ton of it only a little bit 
Some students on Twitch are absolutely fucking unwatchable without the ad blocks too. Yeah, it's fucked up because there's like a debate going on, I guess. I don't know if it's still going on, but I have never played a commercial break, but then I've been, you know, people will say, but there's pre-roll ads, you asshole. Uh, thank you, Bo Jukes, for the six-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, but there's only one way. There is a way to disable the pre-roll ads as a partner. There's a way you can do it, and that's playing X amount of minutes of advertisements per hour. Which means if you want to disable the pre-rolls, you have to have regularly scheduled commercial breaks. I think it was like two and a half minutes or something like that. So a huge percentage of the stream just becomes ads. And that's annoying as shit. That is fucking AIDS. <laughs> I w if that happens, like, fucking, I would just leave, honestly. So I, I, in a perfect world, there wouldn't be pre-rolls either, but it's either that or commercial breaks. Made the mistake of using Twitch on my phone recently. Got hit with nine in a row. Yeah. Yeah. I've had that when I watched my League of Legends program. Would you rather feel like you're stepping on Legos whenever you walk or your nails on a chalkboard? Whenever you, well, the latter would make it impossible to stream. So probably the Legos since I sit in a chair for like 10 hours a day anyways. More people leave on pre-rolls, so the meta is pretty predefined. Yeah, it's it's damned if you do, though. Because when you have the pre-rolls, you do leave. But personally, I think, like, um, it would be pretty fucking... Uh, I think that, for me, from my perspective, I'm more interested in doing right by the people who were already here. So I think it would be pretty stupid to be like, I should disable pre-rolls in hopes of getting people to stay on my stream by pissing all of the people who have been here for years off by playing commercial breaks. This seems fucking brain dead to me, right? Like, I understand it if you're like just getting started streaming, but in this situation, I think it would be monumentally dumb. And the streamer side, does it tell you when an ad is playing? I believe it does. I wouldn't know. I haven't fucking, uh, I haven't run a commercial break. But I'm pretty sure you you can manually control them. And if it's scheduled, it tells you. The pre-rolls, I have no idea. Okay. Okay. I need to get the ball rolling. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me lately. I don't know why I'm so verbose and talkative. I apologize. We need to get to playing some video games. It is bingo night. So I am going to go get another Diet Coke and take a quick leak, and then we will start with the first game of the night. Oh! Sorry about that. I almost got taken out by a dog stampede. 
Alrighty. Time to have pre-stream part two and talk about other inane shit for like an hour. All right, you know what? Before we get in, I do... How do I put this? I need to I need to pick your brains on something to literally everyone in here who feels like responding. Um, are there like things that I talk about on a regular basis that get tiring to hear about or anything like that? If there was like something I could cut out in terms of like uh, maybe talking about King Cobra too much or something like that or too many serious conversations, or anything like that. This is, I am interested in hearing what you think. Um, you can always tell me. Nothing I haven't mentioned before. Not having enough OS, I don't even play OSRS. I agree, Dan, I agree. More pony cum jars. Talk about Mike, Hawk. Mm. You think so, Tyranny? Should probably stop talking about personal stuff. Um, I don't think I, I do that, though. Like, the personal stuff that I talk about is not really anything particularly important. Um, the things that I actually think are, like, too much, I don't usually say in any capacity. Most of the time, even the people who I'm friends with don't know, like, the 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 actual shit i guess um i don't mind i think it's a good idea to share those on the internet in general mm. and thank you boinky the clown for the 73 month resub i appreciate it. i guess i'm not sure what you mean by personal stuff like um are you talking about like from a security perspective like uh information that could be used to like acquire my address or something like that or do you mean um Pretty, that cat's out of the bag. <laughs> that cat, my address is in the hands of a like probably the group of people who likes me the least. So I'm not particularly worried about that. I have had shit sent to my house. So there's not really a whole lot to do about that. Uh, and it wasn't my doing. Uh, sometimes you can cover all your tracks pretty well. And it just happens anyways. So I'm not particularly worried about that because it is, you know... Have you ever been doxxed? Uh, uh It's the opposite for me. I get unreasonably annoyed when in the middle of some deep convo or weird interesting convo, someone says they want to move on or something. But I get what you mean. But I'm not particularly concerned about it at this point. I think that's more for like people who are respectable in life. Like, uh, don't share your personal info because someone could get you fired. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, um, I don't think I have to worry about that. Hello, ghost. Feel like you talk a lot about your life without being being especially usable. Yeah, I haven't been. Maybe it doesn't come off that way, but I'm pretty careful most of the time. Like I, I'm I'm on the ball with it usually. Uh, one of the first things I remember saying to me, Sokoko, is she foolishly posted a picture of her dog with the tag and like her info available, and I deleted it. And I was like, Misa, you need to you need to be careful. <laughs> you need to you be very careful about posting dog pictures. You would be surprised how your dog can secretly dox you if they have like a name tag or something. Tolo gets fired. He'll just move to the hot Facebook gaming. The dog was her downfall. Um, but I, I think that's not a bad thing to say, Salamander. I'm just not particularly worried about it. I was more worried about it being like, we're tired of hearing about the cum pillows, Tolomeo. <laughs> sort of shit like uh just topics that um are personal in nature use a little digital marker for callers didn't really think about that until harp and i got poppy's tags with our phone numbers on it yeah told people in discord to delete their dog pig pigs dog pigs Recently rewatched the Moral Land VOD, and I think you should go back to greeting everybody with the extremely energetic how's it going to the tune of top of the morning I think that my, I don't remember being especially energetic back in the day. I'm tired of all these sexy anime sounds. Feedback would be stream more so you have more pre-streams and run out of things to talk about earlier. I can bloviate forever about certain things though. Like if you get me talking about like RuneScape 
or uh Gundam models like I could literally talk about that shit for hours so it would be hard to filibuster me on that circumcision comes up a lot and it can be uncomfortable but I think it should be talked about because of the the practice needs to end and tyranny said that cry comes up too much I agree I think that is that is true but I, I can't help myself whenever I see like a fucking opening I have to take it you know, kind of like Arcadum, like back massage. Sorry, this is turning into a pussy massage now. You know, <laughs> I think I just can't help myself. What can I say? You know, how fucked up U.S. politics are, but that's more of a me problem. Oh. But you're right. You are right. 100%. Dad needs to hear the circumcision conversation. He still hasn't apologized to me. Individuals long gone like Joe and Maz. That's tough because like it's you can't it's difficult to have someone who's like a part of chat for years and is influential in like the conversations and then they just like go away one day and you can't just expect like uh well let's never talk about this again. Um but you you might be right. I don't think they get brought up that much, although maybe Joe more than Maz. Sorry, I am looking at the game right now. I'm trying to decide which one to start with. Chat is the meeting room for the cry version of AA. Chat is a culture. Probably the one of my big problems, though, is like once something gets into my head, it rarely leaves. So like my fucking mind is like a bear trap for stupid topics. So I will remember like you know, I've been told that, like, people are afraid to talk in the chat or interact in the Discord because they're worried they're going to say one thing wrong and I'm going to talk about them forever like they're Joe. And I'm like, dog, unless you're talking about, you know, shooting loads into cum socks, I really don't think that happens that way. Um, you have to be... You have to be a certain kind of person... <laughs> to be talked about to that extent usually god i i have no idea where to start so i'm just gonna fucking go i'm just gonna go i'm we're just gonna fucking send it just send it you don't talk about that maliciously not charitably yeah um People who I have, like, legitimate, real, like, venomous thoughts about, I try just not to talk about them at all. Um, let me know how the volume is. I don't always succeed at that, but most of the time. Can't see game. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm working on it. Okay, so this is not a tab-out friendly game. The music stopped. The Okay, this is the missing salesman. Just not think about them. It's just that um I think you're right. But I wish it was that easy. I finally got home from work. There doesn't seem to be anything to eat at home. I should go to the store. Okay. Have you ever talked to someone who, like, will forget conversations they had yesterday? I am not like that. I I can remember, like, conversations I had with this chat in 2015. And that's, like, very good a lot of the time. But sometimes that, that's, like, a negative, too. No, I know, gotcha. I, I get you. I understood. I didn't think you were saying that. Get the pizza in the blue freezer. Okay, I think I can do that. Maybe. Am I... Alright, um... Is this, like, the game where I figure out I'm... Oh, it's right here. Okay. I've never seen pizzas in one of these. They're always in, like, these wall freezers. Speaking of which, have you seen the ones that are completely, uh opaque? And it, like, lists what is on the fucking thing and you can't see through it? What the fuck is this shit? What kind of fucking ho-dunk Alabama town are we from? 
where they keep the pizza like this. Hello? I'd like to buy a pizza. Good evening. Ten dollars? Damn, this economy, man. We don't even get the box anymore. Shrinkflation has taken away the entire box. They just throw the fucking pizza. No shrink wrap, no box. Just eat it, pussy. Just ten? Dude, I, I haven't bought a frozen pizza in a while, but if I went to buy a Red Baron and it was ten fucking dollars, I would shit myself. Maybe if it was like a DiGiorno or a Freshetta, but... That sounds really fucking expensive. You can get pizzas from like Pizza Hut for less than ten dollars. Pretty sure every pizza place you could. Unless it's like a mom and pop one. The more talking in the smaller streams, it might have more to do with feeling I need to keep up and read every chat message. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, thank you, Jen RU, for the two month resub. When's the gay sex? I don't know if there's any Eevees in this game. Dude, the stuff crust de journals are pretty fucking good, Booga. My favorite are the Freshettas, though. Did they really just, like, put that on a plate? Like, let's plate this shit. Holy fuck. Okay. Wow. Close the door? Maybe I should, yeah. Oh. What the fuck? What is this shit? Uh oh. What does that mean? How can you be me? Let's win in to in. Okay. It's pretty loud. Yeah, let me turn it down a touch. A little messed up if you bought a frozen pizza and ate the entire thing without... That's true. I, You know, I missed that step. He didn't fucking cook that at all, did he? He just ate the frozen fucking, like, freezer pizza raw. Pre-baked? Was it pre-baked? Put the dirty laundry in the washer. And it was crunchy? Well, okay, to be fair, thin crust crunchy can be good sometimes. You know, you obviously don't want the entire pizza being crunchy, but I can I can fuck with crunchy crust every once in a while. Put toilet paper in the toilet. What kind of monster am I? Why are we putting it in the toilet? Okay, now we got to go to the store. No wonder the demons are after you. Yeah, we're playing this some sort of sick fuck. Crust is amazing from time to time. Yeah, I agree. It's okay once in a while. Floor toilet paper. You're a sinner. I mean, that should be abundantly clear. Don't tell me this game is Swedish. Is that like a Swedish meme where they have toilet paper on the floor? I'm not up to date with, like, Swedish culture. Holy shit, what's wrong with this guy? Why are his fingers brown? What's he been doing? Hey, the store's closed. Why? Did something happen? The salesman couldn't get to work. Something must have happened to him. Okay, I'll come back later. Ten in the stink? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I like how there's no details whatsoever. It's missing. It's like a fucking League of Legends Mia call. Missing someone's dad? Have you seen this dumb fuck? Who's missing? That's a good question. The, the store guy, I guess. Love getting pizza, but I always get the worst fucking slices for myself because the shop near me has them all almost the same price. Why would I get a cheese slice when I get a chicken bacon? Yeah. Yeah. That... I would do that, too. 
there, Brown, because he wants to come a real horse with hoofs. This is a very nice jellyfish. I just realized my task was to go home. For some reason, I thought I, I should go over here to look for the guy. He's like that smirking Roblox face. Sometimes I really wish I was a miner so I could ethically play Roblox and do like Roblox minigame deep dives. I feel like there's absolutely content in Roblox, but I'm also 31. So I don't feel like I should play it. Like, yeah, there's probably games I could play that doesn't involve playing with other people, but I don't know. Oh, their hands. I thought they were, like, weird people. Okay. Sounds a bit odd. Why? Get a handshake? I prefer vanilla. Oh, no. Who the fuck is this? My name is Bob. I'm 27 years old and I'm schizophrenic. <laughs> I'm tired of living like this. I think I killed the store clerk. I can't really tell reality from illusion and tonight I'm gonna kill myself. Okay. Oh, I see now. Okay. Well, that was a decent game for Bingo Squares, I guess. Remember that part where it was like, I am you? I am the player? It makes sense now. I was doing a pull-up when I heard that. I So, to clarify, it's not that I think schizophrenia is funny. It's just like the way it was written. My name is Bob. I'm 27. I have schizophrenia is just like a funny way to start a letter. That's all. It was also remarkably lucid for someone who has delusions and it, like kills themselves. Like a Twitter bio? Yeah, a little bit. Hmm. This is a game called Home Snatch, which sounds like a really bad, like, ESL translation of kidnapping or like a like an abduction so I have high hopes for this one I think this one's going to be a masterpiece does suicide also count as zero self no no because a suicidal person doesn't want to preserve themselves and I guess I understand like why there would be confusion there but it's I think zero self preservation is meant to just be like pertaining to someone's like ignorance of dangerous situations rather than wanting to die okay well is this like a bitcoin miner okay home snatch oh my god how long is this gonna be there's chapters there's achievements the four Biden forest. Is there gonna be the four Trump forest? Oh man, spoilers in the fucking achievements. The silence. Holy shit. The stifling silence has crept into our lives. A silence that followed the disappearance of our friends, our neighbors, our families. Taken from their homes without a trace. Fear has settled in. The fear of the unknown, of the invisible. The fear of being alone, facing the horror. But there are those who refuse to be silenced. Those who refuse to give in to fear. Those who are ready to face the unknown. What about you? Will you be one of them? <laughs> Pog? The mystery of these disappearances. Will you be strong enough to survive the horror? The day has come. Now it's your turn. Are you really ready? You will experience this truth. Truth. I don't know if I don't know if I want to experience her truth. 
Yeah, this feels like it's all AI, right? Okay, yeah, this this game's amazing. I can already tell this one's gonna be amazing. Do you think, like... Okay, so I know there's a lot of people who are rightfully against, like, the AI doing art stuff. Do you think it's fucked up to play AI games? Are you gonna hate me if I play this game? I'm kind of curious. Updating it. Wait. What the fuck is this? Pay money for it? I don't think I did. <laughs> Seth. This game uses the Yahaha Horror Game Kit, which helps people make games without programming expertise, according to the itch page. Hey, Seth. Dogs with guns are not allowed in this household. You need to drop it. Okay, so what am I doing right now? Like, what is my... Oh. What is my objective at the current... Do I just have to wait for this to load so I can play it? Oh. This place is huge. Yeah, we're balling. Hello, Mad K King. What's up, dude? Have I missed any good games? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Holy shit. Um. No, this is the second game. The first one was really bad, but in a funny way. For the most part. Play 333 any day over this? I don't know, dog. 333 is like... I think sometimes I should be nicer to indie devs. But it's pretty... He seems like a very... Uh... He's a beginner. He's a beginner. You know? It's time to go to bed. Okay. What is this? What a strange sleeping screen. Okay. Door stuck! Something is blocking the door! Isn't that fucking grand? You think there's going to be someone in here? I don't think there is. I think this is... Uh, this is going to be another game where I'm a schizophrenic. I kill you! An intruder is coming! Oh shit! Little bitch. You ever get head while looking through a keyhole in the door? Not a keyhole. Uh, the fucking... What? This game is awesome, actually. I take it back. AI is the future. I am still alive. I cannot wait to get to the Four Biden Forest. Remember when you asked us about AI? I changed my answer. Chapter 2, Death Road. That sounded like a really big crash for this fucking container to be, like, upright and undamaged. Okay. Let's take a look at our surroundings. A little bit of excitement. Hello, Lonkin Dynlitter. What's up? 
Accident or argument? One of them did not survive. What? Hello, mask guide. How are you? I'm glad that they panned my camera over there. Wait, wait, what? Do they have the gas station dog? <laughs> what the fuck am I playing? <laughs> How, dude, it's been like five seconds. <laughs> the dog's hitting the gritty. This is amazing. This is... Okay, this is actually art. <laughs> I like the... <laughs> Triggered. Oh shit. I don't know why that scared me. Wait. Is he fucking stupid? He's he's actually hitting the gritty. I'm not even joking this time. Fuck. Okay. I really... I don't know what the fuck is going on. Those are some very nice cucarachas. Wow. Chapter 3... Oh, I... Alright, I guess we're in the forest now, everybody. Yippee. Is this a regular forest, or is this the For Biden forest, is the question. This is, in fact, the For Biden forest. Excellent. I wonder if we're going to find any ice cream out here. Warning, someone comes! Do people who have orgies, like, get those notifications? What is that thing? What, where is the light coming from? He's like a Dark Souls gimp. Holy shit. Average Biden voter. Where's Joe? He's probably in the house. We gotta find him. Okay. Thank you, Cipharoni, for the 94-month resub. I appreciate it. The sub is now longer than 90% of my relationships. Very nice. How are you? All right, maybe this game just had a rough start and it's gonna pivot to being really good now. You guys think that it's possible? I don't think Sif does. Okay, okay, very. Why is Oh, I think it's just a trick of the light. It looked blue, but it's not actually blue. Grimace shake? 
I never had one of those. Uh -oh. Fuck. Okay, well. Need a head. His head is missing. Oh, well, gee, I wonder where we find that. Insert head on body. We're in kind of cramped corridors, so I want to actually not get caught by this guy. You guys remember five minutes ago when we encountered the most deranged dog jump scare? I feel like so much has happened that, like, you've probably already forgotten that there was a literal Doberman jump scare in this game. That was so fucking cool. We did it, everybody. Oh, come on. You better finish this fucking game. Where's the GoFundMe? Where's the pay me tons? Wow. Holy shit. Okay, well, I guess, like, that's a good one to segue into this game. I'm, we're just gonna fucking... We're just gonna do it. Husband, I spent the last two hours watching scariest TikTok compilations. I haven't received such a concentrated dose of inflated egos, banal personalities, and blatant misinformation. Yeah, yeah, that's... Just... I tell myself that whenever I see someone saying dumb things on the internet, that it's not real. Like, it's an act. This is... What was this game called? Okay, you're not gonna believe it. This game is called Turkey Game. Is this from the Meat Game guy? Yes. And you're wrong, Cifron. You actually have, in fact, missed much. The last game... You know that saying? I don't... I'm gonna paraphrase, but it's like sometimes nothing... Uh, decades happen without any important days, and sometimes there are weeks where, where decades worth of like, things happen, or something like that. I don't remember. That last game was so chock full of dog shit. It was truly impressive. Oh, fuck. Okay. Wait, I can get a fucking... Oh, hell yeah. This is fucking amazing. We gotta put respect on the Lord's name. Keep it holy. Manlet? Where do you see a manlet? That is a very nice looking turkey. Do I, um... Hello, Trinus. How are you, dude? Is that it? A horn of plenty of bitches? Why does it look like Peter Griffin? I don't know. That's just the art style. Sir, will you play Dragon's Dogma 2? No, I'm too busy playing Turkey Game, bro. You don't understand. Hello, Juancito James. Hello, Avin. I, I don't really know what's up with the turkey. All right, well, that was turkey game, everybody. That was truly delightful. Can't tell if... I think that was the ending. My wife is making sushi hand rolls. That's what's up. That sounds good. All right, this is um, Herm's Odyssey. What's... Hmm. Or should I say, hmm. There's something behind this one. <laughs> what the fuck? 
I cannot believe this. How could I have been so foolish? I must visit a great wizard and avenge this death. Okay. Does that say chunch? Press the big button to begin journey. Press X to leave. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Me with Diet Cokes. Oh, fuck. Look at that mouth. Oh, we're, we're doing it. What do you think the maximum amount of nutrients we can get is? There need to be more games with, that let you get fat. Like if you do a eating mini game and eat too much. No, Torpal, I have him. What's good, dude? I don't think I can press the big button while we're we're doing this. Oh, okay, I see. I'm having beautiful dreams. Let me out. Wait, what if I leave? Intergalactic Embassy of Burgers. This is where I need to be in the universe. Hello, Sarah Collins. Do not use the bathroom. It's not real. It's called the question mark, question mark, question mark zone. Loves a good burger. I sure do love a burger. What the fuck? No, I, I wanted to go to the bathroom. Shit. Thank you, Rava V, for the 26 months. I appreciate it. I'm going to have to replay. I wanted to see what was in the question mark, question mark, question mark zone. These games remind me of the stuff I played when I first started these Sunday streams. There used to be a lot of things like this. Holy shit. I am here to kill you. Yeah! Mm. I thank you, Hero416, for 51 months. I fucked that dude in the ass. I completely owned him. What a humiliation. This game is... It's beautiful. Was that Bart Simpson? I believe it was. It sure looked like it. It's weird that there's so many of these games like this and Undertale 2 that have like the Simpsons. Just randomly thrown in there. Okay. Asteroid Belt, oh no. This looks easy as hell. Simpsons are quirky retro chungus. That's true. Hello, Salvatore.
The first Sunday game you played the vi Oh fuck off! Not you. Okay, no, no, we can we can Maybe Johan's farm? Skill issue? Yeah, I just got gapped. I, My mind wanna, wants to say, like, Spongebob EXE or some shit like that. Because it first started with me playing things like, um... Haunted Mario EXE games or Sonic EXEs. Spongebob's, like, those sorts of things. Like, like this, basically, except serious games made by children with, like, scary horror monsters. Okay. Please don't leave. They should give me something if I go back in. Why do they look like that? Hello? Do you think we're gonna find Truby's wife on this spaceship? I feel ill, I just ate four bagels. Nice. What? Fellas, is this Joel pilled? Why does my ship look like this? This is probably my favorite, um... ...interpretation of a black hole. Very colorful. We're in the tube dimension now, everybody. Am I a tube? Why? Okay, okay, here we go. There's the wizard. What the fuck? Sad face. Damn. I think that's it. Like, I like how the devs' games just end like this. Like, there's no actual, like, ending. There's no credits. It's just dead. Sad face. Okay, we have to replay that to see what's in the bathroom because I didn't check. I want to see what the, what the bathroom is hiding. Hold on, it's not capturing the game. There we go. What's up, Rafa? Is this the new background image? Yes. What happened to Cool 109? I don't know. I hope he's doing well. Thank you, President Chicken, for the 74 months. I think I just gotta... Just gotta do things until we get to the destination. Play any of these dumb mini-games. I banned Cool 109 Love? I don't believe you. I must have done something to get Cool 109 mad again and he left. What's up, New Wolf? I could go for a jacuzzi right now. That sounds awesome. Whataburger in the jacuzzi would be so fucking cash, it would be unbelievable. Oh. This is impossible. Alright, so we got to see VI Pizza. That's what the secret was. Yeah, this image is really good. 
We got the gnome, got the rat, got the Eustace flask. I got the Kimiko, got the blockhead. It's a lot of references there. It's very, very dense with references. Okay, so what do I play now? These, these are some hard acts to follow. You beat the wizard. I didn't mention it when I was playing, but you didn't have control of your character during that part. Um, you just had to sit there and take it. Okay, I need to play this because... Hold on. I have been meaning to play this one for like... Three weeks now. And... I ended up not doing it because uh, I accidentally downloaded like the app version of it, I suppose. Which is uh, unfortunate. Who made this pick? Uh, Vincent of Dow did. So let me re-download it in like a version I can actually play. Instead of some fucked up like Windows, uh, not Windows, uh, Apple iPhone app bullshit. Who's the thick fucking thing top left? I'm going to come. Um, the dog or like the pot scepter? Because the pot scepter is Kimiko. All right. This has been like the top game on itch for, for like three weeks. This video game contains flashing lights. The characters and entities present are fictitious. And any resemblance to reality is just a coincidence. This is, that's not my neighbor. I'm way late to the party on this. I bought this weeks ago. And I've been too lazy to, like, get the fucking download. So, uh, yeah. The doppelgangers you let in don't kill you immediately, but at the end of the run, get a score rank at the end of the run according to your performance possibility to find and complete the Chester's Quiz. Coming soon. Okay. I've seen Trump and Biden play this one. Okay. The following short film is a production of DDD with educational fines. Hello. If you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in your building. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. But some are not too good at it and can generate imperfections. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. Also, remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor. You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbors. I'm going to be dog shit at this. This is the structure of your office. Now we're going to explain how it works. Here is a security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. On the right, you have the folders with all the data of each neighbor according to the respective floor. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Receive documents from this hatch. If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them into the building with these buttons. Does this count as mundane? No, this you're trying to determine if there's supernatural people trying to fuck your neighbors. Otherwise, if you determine that it is in fact a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 3312. To communicate with the DED or any apartment in your building, use the telephone in front of you. Tolo, I don't suppose I could convince you to do a meet and greet at Northwest Fur Fest 2024. No. Your job is really important, so make sure to do it right. What's going on, Lonko? Congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. Wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by doppelgangers. Be like Henry. But better. 
No, I don't think so, Pony Superman. Okay, okay. So let's see. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. Oh, well, I guess I fucked that up. Okay. Hello. N Margaret Bubbles. Okay. Job is a seamstress. Um, Margaret Bubbles. Curly hair, deviated left eye, round nose, big smile. 103 268 014 590. Where's, where's the... Okay, 14590. Just making sure. I'm not... Is her eye... She does have the fucked up, like, Cyrax eye. I'm not seeing anything wrong with her. Margaret Bubbles. Job is a seamstress. Curly hair, round nose, big smile. Her nose is, in fact, round. Okay, I think she's good. I think she's perfect. One with Russian roulette. Oh, oh, okay. No, I'm fucking this up. Okay. Uh I I completely I completely butchered it. Let's try that again. I needed to do the the thing too, the checklist. I was wondering if it was going to close on its own. Okay, I don't care about you. Go away. Bring out the, the big lady. Wait. You guys just... Okay. I'm fucking everything up. It started off locked last time. Do they just like, um... Okay. Okay, I think I'm just stupid. I wanted to see that clown, but I... I want to actually, like, play the game. Alright, so this means, like... That means it's locked, right? I guess not. No, okay, I, I see. Then why did they just go through last time? Was it just... Now I feel like I'm fucking crazy. I'm sorry. This is probably the worst playthrough of this ever. Okay, okay, okay. This time I got it. I was just trolling for content because I know I'm going to be so good at this. Okay, this should mean it's locked then. Hello. Hello. What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? Nothing. That's incorrect. Goodbye. Well, fuck you too, asshole. Today's last wait. Mmm... Hello. Okay, so this dude's not giving me fucking anything. Uh, that looks like Francis, but he doesn't have any of his documentation. Do I? Oh God. Hold on. Let me let me skim through. It should say here what his floor is. Okay, floor 302. Francis Moss's milkman. Long nose, thin chin, tired hair, eyes, short hair, wears a hat. Apartment phone number. Okay, okay. Four. What? Oh, God. I actually have to do it like a, like a normal fucking... Okay. This is hard to do with a mouse. Holy shit. How do I fucking... Oh, God. 
I because the thing I'm thinking is like I need to call because if he doesn't have any of this shit and he's indistinguishable, you should call the person to see if they answer. And if they answer in the apartment, then it's a doppelganger, even if it's perfect. Okay, okay. I'm I'm trying really hard. This is. How the fuck? I can't do this shit. I'm a fucking zoomer, I guess. I don't understand what I'm what I'm doing here with the mouse. Oh god. This is like Am I fucking dumb? Okay, okay. But I have to learn how to use the phone. Thank you, Radical Brito. For the resub, I appreciate it. Like This is not like an optional thing. Is there like a way I can control it that does not use the mouse? That's unfortunate. I don't know how well I'm going to do with that. I can't even figure out how to get like an input on it. Like I'm not getting any feedback for... Uh, Like, do I just... Okay, that is how it works. Now I have to actually, like, aim the fucking thing. It's 4122. Two. Oh, God. I, I hate this mechanic. Like... It's not the actual, like, how to use the phone thing so much that's giving me grief. It's, like, the controlling it with the mouse part without making any mistakes is, is going to be the difficult thing for me. I, yeah, okay. I am not going to be able to do this. But I, I feel like a fucking fool if I can't... If I can't do it, but I can't fucking uh, figure out how to... How to use this. Okay. Maybe I'll have to consult chat. I'm sure you guys... There's no way the controls are that bad. Move up and down instead of a circle. Okay, I'll try that. Alright, you can see the mouse cursor maybe going up and down. Reminds me of Skyrim lockpicking. Let go when you hit the silver. So, that's what I was trying. Like, you, you do four and you drag it over here, then you let go. But, like, if I, if I do, like, it fucking stops, right? You think gnomes are packing that monster mycelium? Don't aim it, just drag and drop. Grab it from the nine and move it. Okay, that's probably, yeah, okay. That is what I'm supposed to do, I suppose. See, that works. I just can't drop, like grab it at the midpoint, which I suppose makes sense. It's four, one, two, two, right? No? Supposed to stop at the air. You're just doing it right the whole time. Like that? Okay. He didn't answer. I thought it had to be like underneath the arrow. That's why I was fucking uh, confused, I suppose. Okay. Imagine seeing this from the milkman's point of view. Yeah. Um, no. Yup. No. Yup. I forgot to show my ID. 23556-941-8995. I'm totally going to remember that. Resident of the building. I come from my job as a milkman. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. I, I, 
Francis Mosses. I think he's good. I think he's good. This dude doesn't know how to use a rotary. No, even when I was a kid, you you had a like a fucking one with just the buttons. Like we had a landline, but it wasn't uh, a rotary. Was that apartment right? Let me see. Fo three, yeah, Fallout three two. Okay, so he did give us all of it. Perfect. Okay, close this shit now. Hello, Dridsy. No hat, but it says in the thing that he wears a hat. And his little dossi dossier. Good afternoon. Steven Rudboys. Okay, no one is actually named Steven. That's not fucking real. Okay, so is he on the list? He's not. He's not on the list at all. Like Nacho, Francis, Lois, Eleanor, Rudd Boys. McLouis Rudd Boys. Okay, so maybe it's a relative. So maybe we have to call McLouis to see if he's expecting someone. Because it is, he does live here. Big nose, wears glasses, short hair, small head. So 4242. Four, two. Hello, Steven speaking. Okay. My father and I are in the apartment right now. Get the hell on out of here. We are not expecting any visitors today. So that is what you do with the phone. So do I... Um, he... The appearance is alright. Do I do the checklist if I fucking... Just kill him. Call DDD. Okay. Um. Hey, assholes. Contacted the DDD. A group of agents has been sent to your building. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. I've actually never played Papers, Please or anything like it. I think this is the first time I played anything remotely like this. Cleaning protocol completed. You can continue your job. Okay. There are a few out there, but they never really popped off. Okay, this dude for sure is no good. Holy fuck. Uh, what what the fuck is your name? Peach, 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 peach. I think we should let him in. I think we should let him in. I think we should let him in. I think he's good. Interesting, you know, I just saw they're identical twins, I guess, and one of them has the mole on a, on each side. Okay. Well, uh He has all the paperwork? No, this dude's a piece of shit. My balls itch? You don't have balls, Jenna. Oh I guess I oh no I didn't. Contacted the DDD. A group of agents has been sent to your building. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. No, you don't have a peener on them. You can't do this stolen ball valor bullshit. Can I just call, like, the police on everybody? Tolo's ball shaming? You can't shame something that doesn't exist. Hello. Okay. Eleanor. Model. 
04, Svršt. Um, okay, so Elenois. Is the mole on the right place? It is. Model. Mole on left cheek. Small point of no slim. Long neck. She has a twin. So 8, 4, 5, 3. 9, 5, 6. I think that's right. Um, dress is different, is it? It's hard to say because it's cut off. It looks like you can see the stripe right there. Um, okay, it all looks good. Let me make sure... Okay. Excellent. The door, please. I should have probably called just in case. Wrong apartment? I don't think so. It was well, 0104, right? Holy fuck, this woman is scary. Jesus Christ, why is your head so fucking big? She's got the CWC eyes, the heterochromia. Nacho Michaelis. Okay, 0204. Right eye blue, left eye green. Curly hair, has freckles, round face. 7896. 5366 543 or 5413 chef her right are you I mean I'm assuming it's anatomical right and left right so if that's the case then that's you know it's fine it's her right um I'm sorry, yes, I forgot to show my entry request. Resident of the building, my apartment is the 04 on the second floor. Thank you, Crumbly Bits, for the 50-month resub. Her dress is different here. And that's a weird way of saying it. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Wait. 204 all right um 1346 let's let's give a phone call that's just you know what you're right it is the same i'm thinking of the other woman's dress that we just did but it's a good thing we called my daughter and i are in the apartment right now we are not expecting any visitors today Everyone's a fucking, uh, imposter. I think it's been, like, 75%. Okay, is she supposed to have had her? She is, she is. That was pretty flawless. I don't think I... If I didn't call, I probably would have let her through. I didn't notice, uh, a problem... I'm sure there was one, but I didn't notice it. It was convincing at first. Cleaning protocol completed. I think we should make a habit of always using the phone. Seems like a good idea. Someone broke into their apartment to impersonate them? We don't have any evidence of that being a thing. Hello. Okay, so who is this? This should be Lois Stinky 1-1. Stone, ski, Stone Sky. Okay, the name is right. 1-1, one, one, resident of the building. My apartment is on the, the 01 on the first floor. Um, it's looking okay to me. Housewife, big lips, mole on left cheek, round face, short hair. 10, 1969. Is there like a... Uh, Wait. Ma'am, stand back five feet. Okay, so eight, nine, four, five. 
eight, nine, four, five, sixty nine, seventy two. Um, that's what you'd be doing with her because she's seventy two years old. Three, six, five, one. Okay. Is your calendar just outdated? What do you mean? delete her I mean she's a little bit unsightly admittedly but she's she seems to check out let's do one one five two let's just check on the phone Roman Stonsky speaking my wife and I are in the apartment right now we are not expecting any visitors today. Calendar 1955? I mean, I guess so. She's, this is a weird looking 14 year old then. Okay, well, uh, believe it or not, it's an imposter. A minus 14 year old? I guess so, yeah. Contacted the DDD group of ages. Okay, yeah, we get it. I think that's the expiration date. What if the imposter is the one already in the. Yeah, now I'm starting to really wonder about the one I let in. Like, it would be funny if I got everything right except for the first one. I can already tell you're an imposter because you don't have a mole. What if she used, like, concealing makeup or just got back from the dermatologist for mole removal, dude? Sorry, bitch. It happens if you don't press danger. They, I mean, they can see what you're doing. They probably fuck you up because they, they, you're calling the DDD. They can hear you talk. You don't say like, "Hey, this is a monster," but I'm assuming something bad would happen. Instantly call for extermination without even asking. I mean. <laughs> Dude, come on! Fucking TN from Dragon Ball Z. You did have it. His papers are forgeries. Let him cook. I'm not letting him cook. Came back from his shift at the nuclear plant. See, and they would probably tell me if I fucked up, I'd imagine. I mean, we'll see. Good afternoon. Okay. We're not expecting this guy. He's not on the list. This that doesn't... Roman, wait, no, you're the, no. We talked to him earlier. We talked to him and his wife. Just die. Another one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we spoke to him on the phone, so. What if the reveal is just that you're hallucinating? I really don't think so. Uh, thank you, Fear of Confinement, for the one-year resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. I, I think I've only let one person in. Like, Oh. Ever dream this clown? Every night all over the world, hundreds of people see this clown in their dreams. If this clown appears in your dreams, don't play any game with him. If you want more information, go to not nachogamesitch.io slash unlikely. Okay. B 
bitch. Did uh... dog? We should be very afraid if he survived. Does that mean he killed them? Ask him questions. So surprisingly enough, it doesn't seem like we're going to have any, any fruitful conversation with this guy. Um, guess what? No, don't know me, VI Pizza. Come on, just because he looks like sushi doesn't mean we need to be, you know, empathetic towards him. Killing him just because you don't speak his language? Maybe that's his twin? He's supposed to be a rare one? He doesn't seem that rare to me. What the hell, man? I'm sure you're beautiful and handsome. I was just joking. Um, okay, so let's see if we can find anything about her that's, uh... Questionable. The Ivy's right. I think I should let her in. <laughs> this is fucking silly, dude. That's an anomaly? I think it might have been an anomaly. Maybe. Not a single real person. Is the gimmick of this game that, like, everybody is a doppelganger always... Maybe she gives good head. You better hope she doesn't, like, close her mouth at any point. Good afternoon. Okay, what's wrong with you? McLouie Rudboys. McLouie Rudboys, 0303, resident of the building. I come from doing the shopping. Okay, 0303. But we talked to him, too, didn't we? This is the guy who was, um, didn't he have the son? Yeah, yeah. But he said he comes from doing the shopping, so maybe he did leave. Okay, 4242. Four, two. I think I fucked that up. I think I did 4422. I'm a fool. Sorry. Digital dyslexia. Steven speaking. My father and I are in the apartment. Okay. We are not expecting any visitors here. Because I feel like there's got to be some sort of protocol for people leaving too then, right? Like if there's this much security being let in and you're so worried about doppelgangers, you would have to let... Like you would be... You would be fucking informed if people were just like leaving to go get like their fucking Vaseline, right? Yeah, for sure, but there would be... It, it seems like it would be really difficult to have operational security going on if you're not actually keeping tabs on anyone. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What do I know, right? Hello, hand the banana. You don't know. It's not even about filling out papers. It's like, hey, I'm leaving, you know? This seems like a... Uh, Uh-oh. Ha! <laughs> uh, well, we did it, everybody. We did it, everybody. Uh, no doppelgangers were allowed inside the building. A massive victory. Rated A+. Perfectly handled the situation. Nothing went wrong. Wowee. Three, I don't know what you're talking about, Theodore. I have no idea. I have no fucking idea what you mean. 
I think the phone calls were a bit bugged. Who were the actual neighbors of the phone call? I have no idea. I think I had a solid reason for saying everyone was a doppelganger. Hello, Shabby D. Okay, so the next one. People outside were real. They sure were. Three of them. <laughs> Three people got massacred, dude. That's not true, Cool Kai. When we called Steven, we talked to Steven. And uh, Steven also mentioned his father was there, so... The Circus of Tim Tim. I... You are a good sister, willing to go out of your way to find your bro's stupid metal ticket detect when he dropped it, looking for tickets at the Haunted Circus. Find and recover the device and return it back to him. You can use the device yourself to find golden tickets. Whenever it beeps, it means you are near a ticket, but careful, his enemies can hear the beeps. I kind of want a hot dog. Metal ticket detector. I don't know. Dude, suspension of Jerry? disbelief. Come in, Jerry. I just arrived at the place. Uh, looks empty, I guess. What am I looking for again? Over. Over. We're playing as Jenna. Mm -hmm. Isn't this place haunted? At least that's what I heard. Over. It is, but you are bigger than me, and you can handle it. I'm pissed. Just retrieve it and get out. Do you know why I'm pissed, chat? Something that is displaying on this screen has me upset. <sighs> Whatever. I'll get your stupid device back to you. Over. She had no fucking thumbnail. I'm like an alien, dude. I thought the Megan Fox toe thumb was bad, but like imagine if you, you found a woman who was like into you and hot and she had no like fingernails. That'd be fucked. I think that, that should be a deal breaker, right? Easier to suck on. Okay. Holy shit, what is that ugly fucking thing? Circus music. Now I'm lost and stuck. The tag quiet. Okay, let me turn it up. Doesn't seem like it's quiet. I think the audio mixing is just like the voices are way quieter than everything else. Like the game itself doesn't seem that bad. You can throw balls and other toys to make noise and distract some enemies. Maybe I can. Okay, what if we go into the settings? Is it game volume? No, you can't, like, change things specifically. I don't think I can do anything about the voices, so... The boss? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Should I turn it back down? I think it's probably a little loud, huh? Let me uh, turn it down just a smidge. Let me know if it's still too loud. It should be much better for like the really loud noises. Why is she so yassified? Why not?
I wish I could just take hers. Alrighty. I, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't read the dialogue that was telling me how to use the ticket thing. So I'm just, you know, just winging it. Thank you so much. That's not how I expected her to sound. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. I thank you, Headcrab, for the 77-month resub. I appreciate it. That was an odd point to end on. I'm still thinking about the Dobertoad jump scare from the second game tonight. Blue ball. I mean, that seemed fine. It was just a weird spot to end. Yeah, like. I gotta sneeze, but I don't know if it's gonna come out. Does Big Baby count as evil child? Why would you make a demo that's eight seconds long? I mean, it's. I think it's fine to have short demos. Who made this image? Vincent of Dow. Hello, Drowning Skies. See, now we're at the problem point of the stream. And what that means is I'm running out of games that I think will be, like, bad. This is San Nakoda. I think the games will be better and um, maybe longer now. Dev didn't... A uh, demo didn't actually show off anything exceptional? Sure. Okay, um, I don't remember what this one was. All possessions are kept from dream to dream. These items in, and the dreams they complete are saved. Peruse the options menu for a fresh start. Okay. This seems like it's going to be a longer one. Forest C2. And whenever a game has an esoteric title, it's going to be some good shit. Sounds sick. Yeah, I like the premise. Discourage the dead, but they put the same amount of effort into the demo as they did with the voices. Every day, once a day, give yourself a present. Okay, I'm going to ban someone. Who should I ban? That's going to be my present to myself. Thank you, Lefty Jack, for the 41-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so what is this? Park path. Hmm. Please not me. I'm too young. Oh, it wouldn't be you. Please don't. Oh, no. I'm, I'm just... I'm yoking. This looks like Minecraft. Yeah, it's basically identical. Oh. So this is like an LSD dream emulator sort of thing then. You just go into these little bits of fog and then you get transported from dreamscape to dreamscape. That, I like games like this. I think I might be stuck in homosexual infant incarceration with this one, though. Am I going to go under the water now? Oh, I sure am. We're, no, we're actually in the cinema now. I guess we're going to go see Aquaman 2, everybody. Hmm. I'm really looking at that sawdust. I know some of you will be into that dad day, but I'm, I'm feeling the sawdust today. Reminds me of the game we played last night, the Chillers one that just had sticks. Give me that butter, I'm a tux guy myself. Man. Dude, I had Pez when we were in Oklahoma. Pez is so goddamn good. I don't understand why you guys hate Pez so fucking much. The Chili's game good. It was very good. I think it was uh, worth watching. Thought it was a pretty good stream. Chili's has really been on the upswing. It's been a while since they made a stinker. Like over a year, I would say. They're pretty reliable at this point to make something worth playing. I was actually like... 
gotten to the point where I see a new Chillis game and I'm like, oh shit, fuck yeah, baby. Oh, I can project into the fucking movie screen. Cenotaph. VTubers? No, I don't think that's true at all because when Chillis was having bad games, they all loved that shit. I don't know who gave them the feedback, but I don't think it was the VTubers. Because I remember the games that I was saying I didn't like. Everybody still liked those. Yeah, the one actually involving, like, the streamer was really good. The night security one was good. Um, Jisatsu was good. The kidnapping or whatever the fuck it was called was good. This is fucking weird. What am I supposed to be doing here? Thank you, Ciferoni and Cheese, for gifting us up to Tahan Tahanatola Leokira. Splash Star, your boy Fern, Cough Syrup, Burning Goat, Mr. Poop and Soup, BK Shampoo, Laser Cat 006, and PR Shady. Thank you very much. But I have to re I, I regret to inform you that you fucked my game up. Now my mouse doesn't uh, doesn't move the camera. I have to hold down the, the right mouse button in order to actually move it, which is fine. That's a really weird thing to happen. Get fucked? Yeah, I, I, I sure did. It's a VTuber room in Shinkansen. Thank fuck for that. So this has... I thought it was just like an infinitely repeating uh, cemetery, but it does have... Actual physical dimensions. There's an end to it. And I'm just not sure what it is I'm supposed to be looking for. This strikes me as an area I need an item for. Can I... How do I... Um. There was a way to reset it, right? No completed dreams, no items. And there's a thing that will tell you if you've completed one of the dreams. Yeah, this seems like it's going to be a little bit more elaborate. It's going to be a longer one for sure. Um, oh, fuck. Maybe you need to dick down the gravestones. It could be that I'm supposed to find something in here. I'm just not sure what. Worm game time. I'm just worried because I want to keep the games going, so I don't want to be stuck on any one thing for too long. Gravestone glory holes. What if you're just supposed to have a moment of silence and respect? And just sit here to honor the dead. Have you played a game called Gauntlet Legends Legacy? No, I don't think so. Perfect height for a head. Where? Okay, I can just walk into the fence and that takes me out. And now we're at the beach. Yeah, baby. Just pissed on Grandpa's grave. Time to go work on my tan. Uh-oh. Fucking beach episode, baby. Tolocon at the beach. We're at the Tiki Bar. We're getting peeny coladis. I like the idea of this game a lot. Where will this take us? Okay, so now we're in question mark, question mark, question mark. Holy fuck, I can steal a bike? Okay, our first item is a bike. Tolo's in New York City. I need to find some more items. Player controlled driving. I feel like that shouldn't count if you're driving a bicycle. We're in the galaxy now. Okay. Holy fuck. Alright, so... Does that mean... I'm trying to figure out that it's like a map. I... Okay. 
So does that mean if I go up, up, and to the right? Or is the person supposed to be indicative of where I am? Okay, I'm going to trust that my initial interpretation was right. Okay. It was. So now we go up, up, and left. This is some fucking Legend of Zelda shit right here. And then to the left, follow the word of Beyonce, and then we should see a key. Mm. Brothers, I am not seeing, uh-oh, okay. Spoke too soon. Got an email informing me that someone tried to use my canceled credit card at Walmart. Damn, you think they rolled up with like $300 of groceries and, and fucking rang all of it up and then they're just fucked? That would be awesome. Okay, so I think we have to assume that the little squigglies are, are you die zones. Hope that's what happened. Yeah, that would be ideal. Literal maze. I don't know if I would say this is a maze because you have like directions and it's not really structured like a typical maze would be. But I'm not sure. Okay. I'll give you a map of the maze. Yeah, it's just like a very strangely set up ship. Now being banished to the Shadow Realm. God, I wish Yu-Gi-Oh was real so I could find a fucking Karibo and punch it in the mouth. I guess they don't really have mouths, huh? Maybe under all of that fluff. Mazes give a map all the time. What's a dungeon crawl? Usually you have to fill the map out yourself in those, right? With discard itself? Yeah, and I, that's what I would say. Discard yourself now. I wish Yu-Gi-Oh was real for other reasons. Like what? Least favorite marsupial. What a strange question. Least favorite marsupial. God. Um. Pop it app. No, koalas are epic. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, we're in, like, some geometry dash bullshit. Koalas are cunts? Yeah, because you guys bully them all the time. I would be a cunt, too, if you guys were just, like, congregating in an internet chat room shitting on me whenever I was mentioned. Koalas are dumb as shit, though, so we should value things based off of how intelligent they are. I don't know if I like that. I have a dumbass dog. I think he's he has every right to live and be loved as my smarter dog's. Happy to see all these koala haters. You're so venomous. They all have the clap, too. Well, so does Nana at the fucking retirement home. You should see what goes on in those places. You think we should put Meemaw down? Favorite character in any animated production is the koala with a pistol. From Hunter x Hunter. This is really extensive, by the way. Like, this is... There's a lot going on in this game. Okay, so... What the fuck does that mean? I think we have to go... If you're over 70, do you even have a purpose anymore? I, I think... As much as I like making fun of old people... We shouldn't be, you know, assuming we can determine what value and purpose other people have in their lives. Like, what reasons they have. Because then you're just... Like, I, I don't feel comfortable with that. Oh. Shit. Okay, well, um, we're going to Madagascar, everybody. This is not what Madagascar looks like. Triple A game coming out called Squirrel with a Gun. 
dream and work towards it you always have a purpose but no no you don't even need that like fuck all that like is shouldn't we be allowed to just like live and enjoy like you know your fucking day like go outside and be like oh damn the weather is nice like what's wrong with that <laughs> is that a fu is that such a fucking crime i'm not sure wait no maybe i am sure how to get over here i want to live off the land it's too expensive to do that if that's your purpose and you're living well it doesn't have to you are it's okay to be purposeless it's okay to not have goals i think sometimes we focus too much on like you need to have this goal you need to have this fucking like 40 year plan or whatever the fuck i think ideally you should probably have that yeah but some people just want to fucking like chill at the structure their entire fucking life i think that's okay been purposeless for years and it's worked out for me i wouldn't really say that i have like a like a grand purpose or idea for what i want to do i'm like an ambitionless fuck i enjoy chilling at the structure so okay we're getting the tunnel key a lot about the difference between live to work and work to live shit yo get the fuck away from me I wonder what happens if I let him touch me. I think I found... Yeah, yeah, like, sometimes... You might never find your purpose, and that's honestly okay, I think. Like I said, I think ideally it's good to have these things, but I don't think, like, you're less of a person if you don't have ambition. Um... Or a, or a grand goal in your life. It's okay to just be you and just relax. It's okay to quote unquote serve zero purpose. It's also okay to change gears, change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just. Oh. Well, this place looks a little different. I'm going to quit my bike. Let me equip it. Why can't I equip my bike, God damn it? There we go. Fuck yeah, baby. It's okay to rot max. Well, that's not really what I'm saying either. Like, you shouldn't see just, like, doing nothing in particular is rotting. Rotting is, like, neglecting your mental health, your emotional health, and, like, shirking all of your responsibilities. And Like, I'm not saying to do that. Sometimes I worry because, like, uh, Autumn will tell me, like, oh, my God, I have a day off and I just feel like I'm not being productive today. And so, like, why have a day off sort of thing? Like, I, I feel, like, guilty for not being productive. I think it's fucked up that people have been conditioned to feel that way, to tell you the truth. Um, some people like being that productive, but when it feels imposed on you, I think that's a different story. should feel like it's okay to relax. It's okay to sit there and play with your little baby dick and watch a stream. It's okay to play with your little baby dick and do a stream. Pretty crazy how far we've gone from self-resourceful farmers and hunters with eight hours of work a week. Hmm. Point of emotional health. Everyone you aren't allowed to criticize has worse emotional health than you. What are you... What, I'm not... Juan Cito James, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't understand your point. Hello, Schrodinger's hamster. I don't know what the, like, the second sentence relates to, but I think having good emotional health is being, like, in control and not overwhelmed by being emotional. Taking care of yourself so you can, even if... Like, you can, um, just feel better about your life, not being, like, overly emotional all of the time, or upset, or mad, or whatever that may look like for you. That just feel whatever people with more means than any of us are all fucked in the head? Okay. 
But can you do anything about that? I mean, you can sit there and, like, cry about it. <laughs> like, no offense. Like, I'm not trying to sound like an asshole. You're right. But you can't really affect that in any meaningful way. So you should try to focus on the things that you can. That's the graveyard. Remember, medieval peasants on average worked only 150 days a year. So that's true. And I, at the risk of sounding like a uh, I love capitalism bootlicker, I think that, you know, a lot of a lot of the productivity is productivity for the sake of just itself. I don't think it's all that meaningful, but we have a lot more things and systems to maintain than medieval peasants. Um, there's a lot more going on in general, and it's not going to run itself. Hello, kiss me, I'm Dracula. And I personally, you know, I've said it before, I kind of like modernity. I really wouldn't want to be a medieval peasant. That sounds like it would kind of fucking suck ass. <laughs> I really don't think people might glamorize that a little too much. A lot more technology to counterbalance that stuff. That's true. I don't think any... No, sometimes I think people would. Die of gangrene. Gangrene at four and medieval time. No teeth. Well, I already have that. So, whoop -de. There was a French Revolution for a reason. Like, unless you want to go all the way back to monkey, I think it's silly. I just feel like no one really does a 40-hour, full 40-hour work week. Like, they don't work. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm sure there are some people that are productive. But I think... Um, the people who are like, well, no, I don't, I don't want to speak on that because I don't really, you know, I don't have that much experience. I've only worked a minimal amount of real jobs. Um, but when I was a security guard working 40 hours a week, that was true for me. But I also felt like everything I was doing was completely fucking pointless at the same time. Like, I really don't think that like I would have made a difference if they, if I showed up or not in any capacity. So, maybe not the best job to, to gauge productivity with. You're there as a redundancy. I'm there to make people feel safe, is what it is. Or to, like, call the cops if something happens. That's literally what the job was. Like, don't get me wrong. It was kind of nice because, like, if you walked around and just, like, pretended to be present... The people who were working there, like the office building, would be like, oh, it's nice to have like an active security guard. The last one just sat there and stayed on the phone. Um, a deterrent? Maybe. In certain, like at a Metro PCS, yes. But at an office building full of like, you know, office workers, I don't know what exactly it would be. Uh, like I would be deterring. So it depends because I was a flex officer. So what I was doing changed from post to post like that was true some of the time but the, the office building specifically i really did not feel like uh there was a whole lot going on besides just making people feel uh, like a little more comfortable like i non-ironically think that streaming is more productive than what i was doing in those circumstances and I don't think streaming is particularly productive. Don't get me wrong. Prevent them from masturbating in the stalls. Okay, wait, we can go on a night boat ride? Holy fuck. Job to be a scarecrow with a phone? Literally, yes. A walking scarecrow. I actually think the constantly going hard at work actually shortens your lifespan. Like many of famous hardworking people end up dying earlier and out of the blue. I, yeah, I mean, I think stress is, like, pretty clearly demonstrated to be a killer, and a lot of people who work crazy hours are super stressed, even if it's, like, the good kind of stress, because maybe you're, like, um, an independent small business owner who works, like, 80 hours a week, and that could be, like, very satisfying and fulfilling, but it's also still stressful, so it would still end up having a negative effect on your health, I'd imagine, even if it was overall a net benefit to you. Holy shit, okay, this is the city again, but it's all fucked up. Okay. 
I'm gonna take my bike into whatever the fuck this place is. Think this is Detroit? Um, I haven't been to Detroit though, so maybe maybe my impression of it is a little off. Manga artist having a less than tw or twenty year less than average lifespan. Yeah, yeah, like stress killing is a real thing, but it's also fucked because then you have people who. I mean, we've all known workaholics that can't function unless they're working all of the fucking time. And they're also stressed and they suffer health-wise for it. But they suffer an extreme amount of mental stress if they stop. It's kind of fucked. My mom was like that. Both my dad and my mom were like the super workaholic types. I guess the genes like skip a generation. We're at the golf course C2, everybody. I don't think I accomplished anything. What? Did I get sent to fucking gay baby jail for being bad at golf? I think that's fine, groggy kitty. People are always going to Im try to impose their struggles onto you no matter what. Parents are never going to be able to retire, dog. They'll have nothing to do and go nuts. Yeah. Um... Yeah. How are you, Visku? There's a car wash map in this game? I don't know. This is the realm where white men who golf live. See, I like this game, but I feel like this would have been a good end of stream game when it's like winding down. We still need to like get some fucking high action, high impact, high velocity games. But I, I have a, like, if I, I, if we're being honest, when I stop playing a game and say, I'll go back to it later, I almost never do. So, I'm kind of, play a little bit more, see what's in the tunnel. Retired engineers who couldn't deal with doing nothing. See, I think that doing nothing is fantastic. Um, <laughs> I think that, uh... I, I can't empathize with that. I am perfectly content with just chilling all of the time. A big surprise, right? That Vetus game come out? I don't think so. Can't wait for the Haunting Ground stream, bro. Yeah. Mentally preparing for an interview for a promoted position tomorrow. I feel underqualified since I've only worked this place for a little over half a year, but I really... Yeah, dude, fuck it. There are absolute shit tons of unqualified like middle managers and shit like don't think about it that way fucking walk in and put your dick down on the table who gives a fuck what is it doesn't make a fuck just do it i know that's easy for me to say but you should just uh try to allow yourself to accept that you deserve it I don't remember where to go. There's something happening in this game. There is a goal. But fuck if I know where it is. So these are the things I've completed. The galaxy ship in the forest. Stomp cock at interviews? Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Be your biggest believer? Wait a fucking McMinute. Probably more qualified than anyone else they're looking at. And people, I I, I kind of feel like people usually rise to the occasion. Like, may, maybe you're right. Maybe you are a little underqualified. But I think if you're really, like, engaged and wanting to do a good job, you'll probably pick it up pretty quickly. Although I don't know exactly the entire details of what you're doing. So maybe not. Okay, let's not fuck up golf this time. I thank you, Symphonic Vessel, for the 37 months. I appreciate it. This is going to hit for sure, right? Okay, we did it. We did it. I think the goal is to just hit a fucking island. Like, it doesn't matter. So what if I, like... Oh, my God. That is way too much fucking mustard. 
I don't think I can inch it. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to have to get like a... Ooh, barely, but I think I made it. Chat, do you believe? Chat, are you my believers? Oh my god, I think I just missed it. No, I did it, I did it. I beat the golf course. I was so afraid that I was going straight to hell for missing that shot. Okay, I went in the red ball last time. Let's go into the blue square. The blue square goes to the cinema. This is one of the worst fucking areas. I have no concept of what to do in the cinema. Oh. That's a nice Easter egg. I really like it when indie devs put like their cats as Easter eggs or something in the game. Like, okay, so... I, I just don't fucking understand. Abstract pre-rendered backgrounds from the 90s? There's a couple, like, weird-ass LSD emulator likes I've, I have downloaded. One of them looks like you can go through, like, the pipe screen saver as a level. Looks kind of interesting. I don't think there's much to do but go in here. I need to get the coin for the arcade machine. I know the other one goes to the... Oh, but this just goes here. Okay, so... Wait. Oh, it's different this time. It takes you to the cinema, but it's different. This one's closed. I need to... If I'm going to beat this, I need to pay a little more attention. I need to whip out my bicycle. Got that increased movement speed. So what happens if I go into the same projector? Does it have the same thing? I believe it does. But let's just do it anyways. Okay. I'm gonna go fight the folding screen monkeys. Do you know anything about that fight ahead of time? The folding screen monkeys were one of my favorite parts of the Sekiro playthrough that I did on stream for a really stupid reason, but I can't really explain it without spoiling. <laughs> but the, people were uh, like a little peeved the way that I completed it. Um, I got really lucky in, a, in, in uh, a certain regard. I guess that's all I can say. Good live stream turns all these into 11 out of 10. Sekiro was an awesome game. I wish they had made a DLC for it. I gotta wonder if there's more in the city. It really feels like there is. There's more in the beach. I do like how this game tells you what you have and haven't done. Like, if you're there's nothing left in an area, it tells you, Hey, bitch, there's in fact nothing left in the area. Sekiro is my second favorite after BB. I watched a little bit of that uh, Ronin game that came out. I was watching watching someone play it. And uh, Soothsayer, I think, was the one I was watching. And it looks kind of interesting. It seems like it's mostly against like NPCs, like humans, though. And I kind of like the big fucked up monster aspect of those games. I don't think I would have liked Neo as much if it was all like humanoid NPCs. Oh, we're in the dark forest now. I wonder if there's any randomness to like these locations. This is Dragon's Dogma too. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what happens if I get touched by one of these guys. Oh. 
Okay, so then I suppose that you can interpret this as dying if you end up going to the, the fucking cemetery. I, I, that makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna watch the eclipse next week? Probably not. If Autumn, like, finds me and says, hey, let's watch the eclipse, I will, but I will forget. God, brothers. I'm kind of... Kind of fucking... Running my wheels in this one right now. I like it, but I gotta figure this shit out. So if I do that again... Does it change my position in this? There's some fuckery going on with doors not always leading to the same place. Best position somewhere near us. I eclipsed my toilet with my own... Oh, never mind. Did you know that cenotaph means an empty tomb or monument erected in on hour of a person or group whose remains are elsewhere? No, I did not. Some of the most intricate and subtle combat mechanics in any series I've seen. The way bosses react how you engage in their weapon clashes alone is fascinating. It's a really good game. I didn't get that deep into it, but I've seen... Um, See people like Majin Sweet play the fuck out of it and explain to me how intricate it is. Well, not to me specifically, but like listening to the stream. I believe it's going to be directly over Dallas. Yippee. What day is it? So then what's the literal meaning of an epitaph? Is that sort of like a, a monument for someone who's there? Oh, shit. We got the game token, guys. This is the worst fucking game. Why the fuck did you take me here? Do you think there's going to be like a point in going down these tracks? Happened in Texas around 2 p.m. your time. My mom got me my eclipse glasses. I guess we need to find some eclipse glasses, huh? I did not even know that was a thing. There's shapes forming at the corner of my vision. And now I'm at the beach. I really need this to have a wheelchair. Hmm. No, I, I know you're not supposed to look directly at an eclipse. I'm just, uh, didn't know there were glasses specifically for it. So can I wander, like, way the fuck out here? I haven't tried that. Uh-oh. God damn it, stop, stop preventing me. Why do Americans need to be told to not look directly at the sun? It's like I was... Anyone who does that deserves... No, come on. I think it's reasonably understandable to think that looking at the sun with... Uh, I think if most of us did not have the internet and were just cave fucks way the fuck out in the days of old and we saw that, we'd be like, oh shit, the sun is dark. I'm going to look at it. I think it's understandable. Like, yeah, there's a, there's a, a wealth of information telling you not to do that now, of course. I don't think someone deserves to go blind if they make that mistake. We need to have empathy for people. <laughs> we need to be understanding towards our fellow human beings. Looks like you're going through an anus. Or an anus, as Helblinda would pronounce it. Okay, there has to be something here. Creepier than most horror games. There's something, something, liter liminal spaces, right? Well, shit. What do I do now? I have... Th I've found a use for all of my items so far. Is this the ball pit? No, this is Detroit. Hmm. I am... 
interested in this. But I'm wondering how... You guys think I should keep going or should we go next? The walls? Yeah, yeah, this is the Diabetes City. Maze for sure? Not really. I think it's just like waffle shaped. For lack of a better description. Alright. I want to try one more thing and then we can go next. I want to go forward in this game. That was the worst video game I've ever played. Wait. Okay. Shit. We got the film reel now. Now, okay, now I have to go back to the cinema. I need to see what that is. That's going to lead to an entirely new area. That could be the secret that blows this entire thing out of the water. No more debating about mazes. That does seem like one of the more uh, commonly discussed uh, points of contention. Now we all, all we have to do is a Quentin Tarantino foot shoot. I don't know how to reliably get to the, the cinema is the problem. Okay, green triangle, I think, is the last shape I have not tried. Oh, well, fancy fucking that. Place feels like a maze, though. This entire game is confusing because... Oh, holy shit. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, I was not expecting that to be on the reel. Okay. Good God. Well, we finished the, the, the cinema, everybody. We did it. I'm like, fucking, um... What is it called? I don't remember. Okay. Let's go next game. I like that, but we're we need to we need to keep them going. This next one should be pretty pretty uh pretty good, I think. Thought it was just a fucking Yeah, it it, it was basically. Um that's what it appeared to be to me. It was like an autopsy of like a child. This is fish and chat everybody. Let's go to the quiet lake. Supposed to be an alien? Oh, is he, you can tell that I just love children not being able to dis determine the difference between, like, an, a human child and an alien mock-up. Thank you, Big Boss TPD, for the 68-month resub. We, we're playing uh, fishing and chatting right now. What do you mean, zero online? I see someone right over there. You have zero friends online? Hey, don't pick on me. Viral video from decades ago. Have you ever seen the um the one with the weird like chimera in the cage, like the dog kennel? That's a really good fish. Okay, there we go. King salmon. I thought it was just a box that was going to just say you caught a fish. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm yawning. It's not because I'm disinterested or I hate you guys and want you to die. It's because I um, I didn't sleep very well last night. Little man does this thing where he decides he wants to wake up and he deliberately provokes all of the dogs and gets them to form like an anti-sleep jihad. And that happened today, so I didn't get much sleep. I've been up since, like, fucking 7 in the morning. He's the hype man? Yeah, he's an asshole. Jump in the timeline where the death of an MMO game got more than the demo? Well, apparently people were terrible to the dev of that one because of it being woke, I guess. Um, I don't think they were using that word at the time, but that's basically more or less the criticism. Um, so, 
I am pretty sure the dev of it like privated their social media and stuff because they were getting a lot of negative criticism. Bass commonly are allergic to honey and other bee-related products. Any more awful quests that are slow in RuneScape like a broken home? Broken home is spectacularly awful, but I think violet is blue. One and two are just like absolute drudgery. Maybe it's because I'm a Scrooge and I don't really care about the my Christmas spirit. But they're just like they're pointless, boring slogs that just don't really have any value. If you see a dude in a green boat, can you tell him he stole me like five bucks? Other than that, nothing's immediately coming to mind. Besides, like, the obvious ones, like rat catchers. Um, but I feel like there's more. Let me think about that for a second. Yes, Ray Blonde, it's the Resident Evil Haunted Mansion 1. Quick catch-up of this game and what's happening. I haven't been playing long. Um, we're fishing, and it's an online game, and I guess some online game stuff is going to happen. I think that, like, Kenneth's concerns was especially awful, as was Salt in the Wound. Both of those quests were outstandingly miserable. I didn't like either of them. Thought they were both dog shit. But I also am maybe not the best person to ask about RuneScape Quest because I liked the darkness of Hallow Vale. I thought it was cool. Like, the gameplay was slightly tedious, but I liked the atmosphere of that entire area, so I didn't mind it as much. And the quests after it were so fucking good that it's, you know, hard to stay upset about its shortcomings. jogging my head for runescape knowledge because i feel like i did one recently that was just miserable but i can't remember because i've done a lot of them recently ancient civilizations revered sturgeons as symbol of wisdom and longevity often incorporating them into folklore sturgeons look pretty cool they're some of the coolest looking fish big old plate armored motherfuckers It was the funny tree game. No, the quests in RuneScape are really good. They're different. It's not like go kill like 15 warthogs. They have like puzzles and storylines of varying quality. My favorite is the vampire quest line. I genuinely think it's really interesting and fun. I did the last like three or so quests of it without using any sort of guide. Because I, I I wanted to try it and they were really fun. You all, it, it doesn't hurt that they give you ridiculously good rewards too. Okay, well I'm struggling to find the rest of these fish sticks. I'm not sure again, so I don't keep up with every dev. There's not that many I keep up with actually. I'm practiced. I've caught lots of fish. Prif. I just need dungeoneering for that, basically, and I can go to Prif. I fucking... I can't stand it. Like, I hate dungeoneering so much. I've just been using, like, Tears of Guthix to level it up. Probably gonna start using the Penguin Points. Do not want to do dungeoneering. It's my least favorite skill, for sure. Would rather just chop trees actively while paying attention. <laughs> the two dungeoneering. Any Roblox to joining the guild? No, you just got to message one of us. Uh, thank you, Dongleberry, for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Enjoy the emotes. Oh. Is that... Is that... That's the guy who made Fez. That's Phil Fish. He shaved. It is presumed the victim was dismembered by a large predatory animal lining up with recent rumors in the area of leviathan-sized creature lurking in the lake. No such creature has been... S oh, fuck. Okay. Maybe I just need to do it more dusty, but I cannot stand what I've played of it. Is 
is this a game that's going to get into detail as to why Fez 2 was cancelled? Hey, Purple Hat. Th that's me when I play RuneScape and I'm chopping a fucking tree and some asshole comes up and starts chopping my tree. Except I say, like, uh, please consider alking yourself. Like, high alk yourself now. Um, super heat or yourself immediately. Oh, God, no. Uh-oh. Oh, holy shit. Not chronically online enough. That is actually just RuneScape references. So even if you were chronically online, you wouldn't get those for the most part. Okay, this is really cool, actually. Um... Uh, in RuneScape, there is a spell called High Alchemy in which you use a nature rune and five fire runes and you cast it on an item and it transmutes the item into varying amounts of money based off of what the item is. So if you use it on ashes, it gives you literally fucking nothing. But if you, if you use it on a rare piece of armor, you will get lots of money. So the joke is that if you tell someone to alk themselves, you're telling them to transmute themselves. And it is a roundabout way of telling someone to kill themselves. Yay! So that's the joke. Uh, <laughs> it was a really good one, I know. I know. Uh, you know, I'm here all night. I'm here all night. I'm using invention machines to automate alchemy. You got a friend, congrats. Feel socially assimilated? Yeah, 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 of course. Most There are people here, like, Pop It Up is a 100-month sub, and I feel like half of the time she has no idea what I'm talking about. She deserves it, Monochrome. I hate that stupid goblin slut. Explain the ore one. Superheat ore just smelts your ore without needing a furnace or a forge. So you can go and mine it and just smelt it into bars, like, right there, and you don't need to, uh, make another trip. It's not as useful as it sounds. At least in RuneScape 3. Don't make fun of senile dementia. It affects millions of lives. So one of my problems is that I make fun of everything. Um, that's how I deal with things. Uh-oh. So is this my friend? Sup, Playa? <laughs> what the fuck? Come on! Oh no! Shit! Oh my god, man! That was a good fucking game too. The, the ending, like, come on! You could have fucking stuck that way better. Oh man, you're welcome. I liked your game, even if the ending was weird. Should have left that one in the oven a little bit. Great ending, what do you mean? I feel like they probably aren't trying to get you to laugh. You know, like, how many people make horror games like, Oh yeah, this part is either going to be really scary or really funny. Maybe. Like, I actually really liked the idea of unplugging, like, fishing up a drainage plug for a lake and ending up in some fucking nightmare cavern. I don't think I've seen that before. That's, that's like a really cool concept, genuinely. I'm not just like saying niceties when I say I liked it other than the ending. I feel like there was potential in that. Just you can't, you, we need to s make like a fucking gentleman's agreement to stop using fucking JPEGs. You know? <laughs> like, please, no more JPEGs. All right, this is the Immemorial Order VHS. 
still playing Fear and Hunger, my bingo card would be full. Bingo didn't exist when we did Fear and Hunger. Bingo's a relatively new addition. I think it's less than a year old. Definitely. It's like half a year, maybe. Feels like the screen to a pirate installer of the game. No, you need the chip tunes. Is that how they say it in, in Brit Bong land? Chip tunes? Did Raphael make this game? I don't think so. Huge fucking head? You, she doesn't look like she has a huge fucking head. Oh, I'm not using a controller. I recommended you to me, and now I'd be watching your stuff a lot. You're the only Twitch streamer I follow. Well, um... I'm glad you uh, gave me a try. I'm glad you enjoy it. But you should probably punch your friend. There's strange noises coming from that building across the road. It's remarkably bright for 3.28 a.m. I can hear screaming, shouting, and horrific noises that I can't explain. Yeah, it's not too bad, Visku. It's happening more and more recently. I wonder what is going on in there. Yeah, if you're confused with the bingo, you just DM me the, like the link in the or in like a screenshot of the card in Discord. I, anyone can message me. That's how everyone does it. My friend got me on Sunday streams almost four years ago now. Oh my god, that's such a long time. I was wondering, because I think it was you, Ruthie, who said that it was like your first stream on Twitch or something. And I was like, how the fuck does that happen? Like, how is this your first stop? Like, that seems absolutely and utterly inconceivable to me. Um, we need to turn the sensitivity down. Oh, no. I'm not sure I like some of these camera effects. I love Animal Crossing. It's pretty good. Clean your monitor. You, this is like what a European monitor looks like when they spit on their uh, PvP opponents. This is what Blinda's monitor looks like whenever he spits at Jenna. Second and last. Well, that's not really what I mean. I'm just saying it's weird that this would be the first stop. Because it's like a very niche place. It's not like a, like a going to a ninja stream. Never watched anyone I didn't know. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that makes sense. You a recommended channel of a recommended channel for me. Oh. Bingo for stacking VHS effects five times in a row? No. That's a very nice rubber ducky. <laughs> That's such a satisfying noise. Oh, this is so sensitive. Uh, thank you, Ciferoni and Cheese, for gifting a sub to Sal Lancer, C Dob 17, Calm Soup, Jaw 228, and Kelmir. And God damn. Thank you. Ciferoni, are you under the influence tonight? <laughs> Top 50 goose farts. Dude, when VI Pizza gets 25 bingos, I'm going to send her this instead of the Sif Paw Prints. It's going to be really funny. No? Okay, okay, carry on. I'm interested in how I'm going to do that. I've never done anything like it before. First one's honestly probably going to be kind of fucked up, so I'm going to have to take, uh, like, do multiple tries. Uh-oh. What's up? All righty. Love you, baby. Love you, too. Get some good sleep. Oh, hopefully. FOV's wacky. There's just like, it looks strange. But we're gonna see. Your quiz was good. She said she got like 100%, I think, right? Yes. Yeah. Five out of five. 
Hell yeah. It's like my score line when I play cum shot basketball. The Fear Nugger 2, it's wild that there are people who watch for over seven years. That's longer, dude. There have been people here for like... Pop It App has been here since I want to say July of 2015. And I... Holy shit, look at him, dude. So, I mean, it's surprising to me, too. Don't get me wrong. Um... When I started streaming, I would, like I never set out to be like a streamer. I had a, a friend who was I was getting him into challenge runs for like level one and Dark Souls and stuff, and he was like, "Hey, I don't, I can't get like a PlayStation for Bloodborne. Can you stream it and like do do like uh, watch you play Bloodborne?" Started streaming directly from the PS4, and it just kind of people showed up and like we were talking about. I remember the very first stream of Bloodborne. I was. Uh, talking we were talking about that pizza song like the pizza i don't re i don't remember exactly how it goes you probably know what the fuck i'm talking about like p-i-z-z-a pizza uh, thank you doggo for the 18 month resub appreciate it so if you were curious what how it started that's how it started oh and then it was fun so i just kept doing it and now here i am uh hello it's doggo Weird, you know? Very strange chain of events. Yes, JJ Tizzle. Cifroni. Cifroni was a lot more reserved for a long time than she is now. She's come out of her shell. A lot. Pop It App used to be considerably more gross than Cifroni. Okay. I think it's funny that this is like a three gigabyte game and their cat didn't have any animations. It just slid across the floor. Oh. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Come on! Stop doing that! Fuck off! You have been seen run home quickly. It looks like a bunch of ladies. We just fucking interrupted, like, feminist slam poetry night. Shit. Okay. What if I wanted to join? Two gigabyte bitmap jump scare? Yeah. Scary maze moment. Yeah, some of this shit's some, like weirdly crusty, isn't it? Like you you open it up and the graphics are okay, and then they're throwing like JPEGs at you. Maybe they weren't slamming poems. What would the alternative be? You think, Misa Coco? Remember being genuinely nervous to type in chat. I understand to a certain degree. I wish I had a more disarming demeanor. Um. I think that I, I give off uh, unkind vibes. I like when new people come in and ask questions. I really, I, I enjoy, one of my favorite things about like the Bloodborne Dark Souls 3 days is people coming in and asking me to like run them through the strategies and stuff and them saying, oh, I went back and beat the fuck out of the boss. Thank you, Tamolios. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed that a lot. Pre-Fear and Hunger Days, the pre-Game Jolt Safari Days. I think it was you. It was mainly me being comfortable in my own suit. Well, the streamer sets the mood, right? A friend of mine used to think you're one of those... Yeah, a lot of people have, dude. Literally, like, a couple streams ago, like, one of my, you know, long-time subs was saying, I thought you were, like, an alt-right fucking, like, dude-verse, man. And I, I get it. I do use a lot of profanity. I have an abrasive demeanor, but it's really not like that nor has it ever been like that hello j left w speed ran sean well thanks for your tips you're welcome man i'm glad i could help you in your your journey 25 minutes later what is that noise 
people get spooked. I mean, I personally feel like the smaller the chat is, the more scary it is to talk. Because when you have a smaller group of people, you usually have like a click gets clickier the smaller you get whereas if you're talking and like i talk in like the lcs league of legends esports chat and say like haha stupid europeans or some dumb shit that i'm just saying to troll because no one fucking cares like no one gives a shit what i type in the chat and it's just you know but i i if i go into like a small chat it's like okay like these dudes probably like talk to each other every single fucking day they stream and they know each other and there's these in jokes and it's just uh-oh uh, easier to blend into big chats yeah for sure that's why i think mine's in like a good space like it's not a small or a big chat like you can blend in but it's also Maybe it is clicky sometimes, more so the Discord than the actual chat. But you can, it's slow enough that people can actually respond to each other, you know? Fight for attention in bigger chats. See, my messages stay on screen for entire minutes makes me cringe. Yeah, that used to happen in here when Mausolus would talk. <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck? Random gargoyle. Okay. What the fuck is happening? Please let this be viral marketing for a reboot of the Gargoyle series on Cartoon Network. Did it just steal your fucking TV? I hope so, dude. That shit was a clunker. Just be emote spam nonsense. Roars and my freaking dogma too. I shit it almost. Um, I feel a little silly, but everyone seems chill. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I like to think that usually if things start getting like heated in chat, I, I do a decent job at diffusing it. What? Are we going to a fucking drag show now? What the hell is this? Mardi Gras, perhaps? Is this what, like... Fucking fundamentalist Christians believe drag shows are? Like, that game? Hello, most average. Like, you know, good old Christian boy living life until the drag queens moved in and started having seances across the street and turning into gargoyles and, and abducting my CRT. The iconic drag gargoyle. I was almost going to say CRT TV, but that... Yeah, I mean, cathode ray tube. I was worried I was about to do that fucking, like, ATM machine thing. You never want to do that. Ever. Okay. Hello, Sif. How are you? What's up? Are you a good girl? You want to say hi to the stream? Sif, say hello. <laughs> oh, what a good girl. What a good doggy. What a good doggy. Who's a good baby? But yeah, going back to something earlier, that has been a point of frustration. Because I know I know, I literally said the stream, we should stop mentioning it. But in the, a chat where the streamer shall not be named, everyone thought I was like this rampant, misogynistic dude, bro. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I guess it's hard for people to know what's going on in my head versus like the things I say. But it's just like... I don't know. Like, I'm not a stupid fucking, like, neutered bitch who never says anything. I'm sorry. That doesn't mean I hate women. <laughs> I'm sorry that sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll call someone a bitch. But it's not like that at all. I like the art for the ending of that game. It felt like AI to me. Okay, this one looks really cool, but I'm going to go ahead and give a warning that despite looking very cool, it looks like a lot. Um, like, so Misa Coco Migraine Warning, 
I think this one is a, is a strong candidate for triggering that sort of experience. Keep listening while I fish. Okay. I I know McGhosterson. Never made the list of misogynistic soul streamers. Okay, this doesn't actually look like the, the images so far. I'm guessing that's going to happen soon. Right now, you don't need to turn it off. Like, it looks perfectly fine. Better than the last game. Okay, to navigate your character, WSC to move around. Oh, God. Okay, so we can... We're driving this fucked up boat. Oh, good God. Okay, this looks cool. Oh, use radar to scan nearby stations in the creature. Oh. Okay. What game is this? It is called... Fractal Sailor Tech Demo. Probably not the tech demo part. Zero results for Tolomeo R. Well, to be fair, if they knew about my stream, I probably would have made that list because some of the things that would manage to get you on the list are like objectifying your significant other, using the word bitch, not having enough women moderators, um, being a critic of feminism. That's one that bothered me, not because I was ranting about feminism. I wasn't. But I don't like the idea in general that you're not allowed to be critical of ideas. Like, I don't think there should be very many ideas that you cannot be critical of in general. I think most of the criticisms people have of feminism are fucking brain dead. Don't get me wrong. But... That just rubs me the wrong way, regardless of what the subject matter being discussed is. What's a to I, like, I'm trying to think. What's a topic we shouldn't be able to criticize? Uh, onions being bad, perhaps. Like, you shouldn't be able to criticize me on that. Or human rights. Or human rights. I was going with like a like a like a jokey response, but you guys are bringing out the serious stuff. That works too. You're right. Racism bad. Hating onions is a homin right. Not a big fan of the government. Diet Coke being superior. Okay, so. This looks really neat, but we're just going down, like, the same little flesh tunnel for now. Do I have to make it through one of these holes? About to give a serious answer? No, you can give serious answers. I just chose the, the, the jokey one. Okay. So. Locate and resupply all the stations without being caught by the creature. Hello, farm pig. To in Orlando today, I've only been playing for six hours. It's pretty good. It's really good. Are you just social with people I absolutely fucking not. No. <laughs> no, not at all. Um I'm weird. I am pretty much constantly in a fight or flight like nervous state when I'm streaming. That makes me feel pressured to talk way more. I also enjoy it, don't get me wrong. But I prefer to be quiet most of the time. I, if I do end up talking, I will say like the same kind of shit that I say on the stream. But I don't usually volunteer uh, that sort of thing on my own volition. But if I'm really... like. I can get pretty animated when I'm having, like, an actual conversation with someone, and it's basically the same thing. This doesn't really happen all that much. I'm, like, extremely introverted, because, um, 
I was homeschooled and I think maybe I'm wrong. I don't I don't know how other people are, but I think I have like a level of independence that most people don't have in terms of being introverted. Like I could literally talk to some or not talk to someone for two weeks and I'm not lying. I would be perfectly OK with that. <laughs> like It would not bother me at all. Um, I think a lot of people say that and they don't really mean it, but I promise you I do. Um, but it doesn't mean I don't like talking to people. That's where it kind of gets weird. Like, I do. I just don't, uh, usually have the urge. Like, when I am social and I do talk to people, I enjoy myself and I like it. But I feel like, holy shit, I am ready to, uh, like I say, like, three sentences. And like, yep, that's my contribution. One of the things I like about streaming is... I, this is going to sound stupid, but I feel like when I can stream, I can be the truest, like, uh, reflection of my myself. Like, I can say what I actually think and make my stupid jokes that would maybe not necessarily be suitable for conversations with people in real life. Um, so I feel like it's a place where I can actually, you know, kind of be myself. Or at least what I like to think of as of as myself. Let's see the monster. This is cool, but I don't really want to gallivant around too much. It's like a squid thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, all right. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I was not expecting that. He just fucking launches you through this hellscape. Love the be myself serial killer. I'd believe it. Is he like I know, I was trying to get got. Like I wanted to see. Okay. Well, with that being said, this is a tech demo, and uh, I think that's it for me on that one. That was neat. The monster actually flinging your ship like a projectile was pretty cool. We in the ocean? We're in some fucked up flesh cave. I said I'm social introvert, because in my opinion, introversion and extroversion has more to do with... Yes, I agree. Um... One of the silliest pitfalls I have with streaming is after I'm done streaming, I am not in the mood to talk to anyone for the rest of the waking day. Because <laughs> like, I, I like it, but I also am like out of battery completely when I'm done with the stream. It's like, okay, I am going to play RuneScape. Leave me alone. Um, I'm going to, you know, just fucking veg out. With that game alone, I completed my... How, farm pig? How did you complete? You're lying to me. You're trolling me, farm pig. I once sat in a car with my dad on an eight-hour drive. And neither said a single word the whole time. So I have like a like a weird problem with that. Is I'm comfortable in silence, but I know a lot of people aren't. So at least at first, I try to like talk, because I know it makes people uncomfortable if you're just sitting there like a fucking vegetable, not saying anything. Um, the stream went out for a few seconds. Yeah, that game kind of hung my system for a second, so I think it was on my end. This is actually a game that you would probably think I have played before, but I haven't. This is Anatomy. I know a lot of you have heard of this one. I actually haven't played this. I've played some of the devs' other games, but I haven't played this one. At least I'm pretty sure I haven't. Maybe Ghost could fact check me. Let me turn the gamma up on your end so you guys can see a little better, because this is dark. Here. I don't want to make it like too washed out or fucked up, but you should be able to see a little bit better. It doesn't affect anything from my POV, though.
I like the dev is named Kitty Horror Show, and I like these games, but they're mostly walking simulators. And I remember I binged like a bunch of walking simulators at some point. I think the chat kind of got burnt out on them, so I stopped playing them for a while and just never got back around to it. Holy shit, you move fast. So is this like a? Do I have to like hold the the door for this? No, it's making a lot noise. Played other games? No, I know I have. I know I have. I missed how the last game ended. It didn't really end. I just stopped playing because I saw the monster and I was satisfied. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the Neolithic era, Can you guys hear this all right? has defined itself by its buildings. Buildings for worship. Buildings for socializing, buildings for protection, even buildings for the commemoration of the dead. For the structures it. that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies Thank upon you, Miracle most Johnson. I appreciate it. for its continued survival. Sorry, I'm trying not to overlap the tape too much. There's a tape in the dining room. Okay. This is the cooking room. We all know that. Please stop throwing bricks at me. You guys remember that one fucking game? I, I cannot for the life of me remember what it was called. I played it years ago. I don't think anyone will know. But it was like you were on a balcony and there was like a moon or something that had an eye in it that would get like cut and like sliced open and shit. Something like that. I haven't thought about that game in years. I know that is not exactly the most uh, elaborate description in the world that narrows it down. The Tender Cut. Yes, that's what it was called. Thank you. No, it was not Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. A few years ago, and this one looks different. I don't think so. Okay, so it said the dining room. That's where I'm supposed to go, right? Oh, it's fucking dark in here. This room specifically has it the worst. Okay, so this was the door I didn't check. Just realized Twitch was shadow banning me for being on a VPN because I was able to post AAAs. is one of the key elements that separates Wait. modern humanity from its more primitive antecedents. No other creature goes to okay. such lengths to create life. It started similar, but it's different. Itself, nor regards such shelters with such reverence and import. Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy toward their homes? There are many reasons, of course, but perhaps it is due in some small part to seeing them as a reflection of ourselves. <laughs> Downstairs bathroom. Okay. So is this going to be like talking about what is a house and how it makes you feel comfortable and then it subverts your expectations and flips it and turns it into a nightmare? Uh, thank you, Rutari. Or not thank. Sorry. Hello, Rutari. I've been going through some IRL stuff lately. I haven't really had any energy to do anything. I hope you're feeling better. Sometimes I do that. Like my robot responses, like my wires get crossed and I mean to say hi and I say thanks because I get it mixed up with the sub response because I'm an asshole my mistake I just can't stop thinking about subs we're gonna have to go to subway after this the anatomy of the house is such that this analogy is less superficial than at first it may seem to carry it further if we were to dissect a house as we might a human cadaver we would find ourselves able to isolate and describe its various appendages and their functions in a decidedly anatomical fashion. Like the cooking There's room? There's a fair number of direct comparisons to be drawn between those organs of the house and those of a human body. Okay. So Subway, so I actually don't like Subway. I'm, I don't eat there. Never gone there of my own volition. Just not big on Subway. Foot long steak and cheese on Italian pickles, salt, pepper, and mayo. I'm happy for you. That sounds yummy. 
I'm gonna be honest. I I saw foot long and Italian in your description, and I thought you were gonna talk about something else. The open air food containers. Am I on drug? This has got to be the garage. It's fair, honestly. No, it was it was unkind of me. I shouldn't assume you've always got cock on the mind. Nothing else. It kind of tastes like food, but even Burger King is higher tier now. Don't you fucking talk shit on Burger King, brother. For example, let us examine the living room. Often the dominant space for the house is ground level, as well as typically the center of activity in a well-populated home. The living room is very much the heart of the house. While a human heart circulates blood to oxygenate the body's extremities, the living room circulates people, activity, communication. It is the room most likely to be found beating, as active and vivacious as its name would imply. The comparison okay. is only strengthened when we consider also that the living room is most commonly the room to contain the fireplace, making it additionally a locus of actual physical heat. So, I think the living room is like the least traversed room in my entire house, non-ironically. Like, <laughs> the living room does not, is not the beating heart of my home, personally, because we all stay upstairs, and it's downstairs, so... Everything is upstairs. But I think that's probably right most of the time. Just got a, a strange one. Okay, so this is this must be the living room then. It's got the yeah, okay. Brazilian people, they are high tier in cock length. Okay. Where's your source, bro? It is easy to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of a house, though this comparison is tenuous. By contrast, the function and analog of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The hallways and corridors of a house are veins, providing circulation coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of a house serve much the same purpose as eyes, Okay, what's the gallbladder? ...or long drive and come suddenly face to face with a tall, dark manor will tell you that it is difficult to shake the impression that the house, through its lightless windows, is a creature capable of vision and intelligence. The boiler room? What's the penis? I wonder how, how into this they're gonna get. What part is the balls? Oh, God. Okay. Stairs, stairs, stairs. The spine. Laundry room equals liver. That's what I would guess. The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. Brain. At a stretch, and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, dreams are dressed, passions are ignited. Epiphanies are experienced in cold sweat at early hours. Mother's pillows are come on. People invariably spend the majority of their time, though comparatively little of it whilst conscious. Okay, now we need to find a bedroom. Yapologist over here? I mean, I think it's kind of interesting. I, I hope they go somewhere with it, because it would be kind of lame if it was like, this was all of it. It's going to be building up to something, I feel. But... I've never heard this stuff before. Never thought of it that way. I don't necessarily... I don't know. Maybe maybe the human ability to see patterns where there are none. Because there used to be... Oh, thank you, Something Hill Zone, for gifting a sub to Mouseman, Neo, and Owen, Rakushin445, Rumpy, and Elisace. Thank you, dude. Houses used to be, like, less... Um, Let's divide it up, right? Like, you just have, like, fucking... I'm, I'm pretty sure we had houses before the idea of, like, a corridor was even made. So, I don't know. wonder what houses are going to be like in the future. Thank you, Fakey420, for gifting a sub to Crybaka. I appreciate it. 
just big old rooms. Like I've heard horrible nightmares of like the kitchen and the bathroom being like not only in the same floor but in the same space. And yet this analogy is an incomplete one, for obviously the mind is an exceedingly complex thing. Sometimes. But the bedroom represents the thinking, dreaming part of the brain, and it is the basement that represents those lower, unconscious parts. Okay. The basement is dark. It is buried. It is a place full of cobwebs where memories are stored. A point of comparison, truly. Often the unnerving uncertainty that comes with considering the deeper aspects of the human psyche is not unlike gazing down at the swimming blackness pooled at the bottom of a basement stairwell. It is a place we spend our childhoods filling with monsters that will lay for years in patient silence. It is a place that, barring some specific errand, we seldom ever want to go. Bathroom plus laundry room sounds normal. No, I disagree. Maybe at face value it sounds kind of normal, but I think bathroom should never be adjacent to anything because when you flush a toilet, the particles of like uh, waste matter fucking fly around the room. So you're going to be getting doo doo feces particles on your brand new Evangelion shoes that are in the fucking laundry room. So I don't think the bathroom should be anywhere near anything. In fact, I think even bathrooms should be more segmented. One of my favorite things about the upstairs bathroom I have is the toilet's kind of like in this recess where there's three walls surrounding it. So it's a lot harder for like that those particulates to go like towards the sink or perhaps the toothbrushes or anything like that. So I think that bathrooms might not even be segmented enough in my opinion. Where did it say the tape was? Dodo feces? It was the basement, right? I didn't think the basement would be here. Okay. Oh, this looks like something's going to happen. Close and flush? I do. I do. But there's still a gap where some particulates can get out. Okay. I have been telling this chat to close the toilet lid for actual years at this point, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm a big germaphobe. Um, I might not... I'm gross with things that are mine and myself. Like, I keep a bunch of Diet Coke cans on the table at all times, but I do not like... Um, I, I'm very, very wary of, of anything unsanitary in public. Of course, this comparison though appropriate, is a very heavy-handed one, and often the basement is little more than a storage space littered with the corpses of spiders and wood mice. While poets and psychoanalysts no doubt dread the thought of a dark basement, in truth, it is the bedroom, the waking mind, that place of dreams, that is actually the most frightening of all. Sure. Like, I'm one of those weird freaks where if I have to use the restroom in public, I will, like, put my hand in my shirt so there's no skin on, on handle contact or use my foot or something like that because I do not want to get, like, supreme AIDS from the fucking door handle. If I... I'm pretty sure this is a useless defense mechanism, but, like, if I hear someone cough or sneeze, I try to hold my breath if I'm near them, so I don't accidentally breathe in any of their fucking particles. I do not like germs, dog. <laughs> like, I try to be conscious about that stuff. Do we, we do not live long enough to get sick too often. Holy shit, I can't see. I'm glad that I'm not alone in the holding your breath thing. That's one thing that kind of has made me feel like I'm a fucking weird freak. It is here, in the bedroom, that we are at our most vulnerable. Each night we shut our senses to the world for hours at a time, trusting in the house to keep us safe until next we wake. In this state of extreme vulnerability, we will spend something like 20% of our lives. Anything might stand beside us. Watch us, keep us company until dawn, and we would never perceive it. 
we can only pray that the house will not let such things carry on as we sleep. In this way, during these hours, the bedroom seems less like a mind and more like a mouse. Oh. It is here that the house is most likely to betray us. It is here that we place ourselves most at the house's mercy and spend each night hoping that it will not bite down. I understand that, Ray Blum, but there's no safe way to gouge, sorry, not gouge, gauge what a safe level will be. Wait, that's, that, there's no way that's it, right? No, there's no way that's it. Hold on. What the fuck? Verbally, I did, I did, M. Perry. I, I 100% did. I'm gonna start saying rouge now, too. Yeah, you just don't know. You can't see it. So, like, uh, you get plenty of, like, trace exposure just being outside in general. So, you just want to... Someone sneezing, for example, is going to be a huge, like, bio load. So, you don't want to be anywhere near people who are, like, coughing shit up or sneezing or any little child. Um, and with the bathroom, it's kind of like... Uh, bathroom you just don't fucking know depends how recently it's been used so you gotta err on the side of caution but trust me i have a remarkable immune system because when i was a kid i played in the dirt and ate fire ants and did all sorts of hood rat shit i'm missing something aren't i I'm pretty sure I wasn't able to open, like, all of these fucking doors before at the beginning, right? What did fire ants taste like? Nothing in particular, just crunchy. Okay, no, maybe not. I can't open this. But I do feel like most of these doors were just outright inaccessible last time. Oh, what the fuck is this? The sun is scary. Yeah, I'm not anywhere near as worried if we're outside. Um... But one of the scariest places to me are interior sections of zoos. Like uh, the little herpetorium slash aquarium some zoos have. Okay. So there's clearly more going on. But I don't know exactly what to do about it just yet. Maybe the tapes are different. I'm able to get into places I just simply haven't been able to get to. What the fuck was that? Like a Muppet doing the fucking Lord's Prayer? Is that... No, it's the Lord's Prayer. It's the fucking, uh... Pray the Lord my soul to keep, yada, yada, yada. Recording made me feel sad. Drunk... No, it wasn't rambling, but the voice was definitely distorted and fucked with. Oh, there's like fucked up cracks in the wall do you see it it's hard to tell no it's not cracks there's something here it's like what the fuck and the house is getting all fucked up look at the window okay this is pretty cool i'm digging it Hmm. 
Okay. So if I were to go down, wait, is that other door open now that I did that recorder? It isn't. I think this is what I need to be like. That's my primary goal is to open that door. But there's something I got to do to unlock it. There aren't keys. It's just like doing events or listening to the tape recorders. Should I sing Tomio a birthday song on his birthday? Who even knows if I'll live that long, bro? What do you mean? You never know the future. I might die in a horrible RuneScape accident. Hmm. I really like this kind of lighting like the house with only the tv is a light have you ever slept to this shit as a kid you had the tv on and then like uh if you're watching a movie or something and stop playing and it was just blue and you wake up and it's like this that shit is cash oh well that seemed unnecessarily violent Okay. All right, Vincent. Have a good day at work, dog. Thank you again for your amazing art. Okay, yeah. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the monastic era, humankind has defined their own apart. But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continuous survival. There is a tape in the dining room. Something fucked must be in the basement now if all of these doors are open, but there's no basement. Okay, well. Still Somni code? Oh no, this is anatomy. <laughs> Currently looking for who asked. Thank you, Artemis, for the 51 months. Was really I'm watching your streams while I'm working 80 plus hours each week. That's a lot, dude. I hope it's like, uh, I hope you're making unbelievable fat stacks. Fucking 80 hours, good God. Sorry, damn. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, that's good, but like not under those circumstances. There is a ta -a 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 -a. doors are unlocked. Okay. I have a feeling I know what that means. No, what the fuck? Hmm. Maybe it's meant to tell you that all of these are unlocked and I kind of skipped a step. That's possible. God, I don't like that. Is that a tick? Ugh. Might literally just be a troll door. I would be pretty fucking upset if it was a troll door. 
Backrooms? No, this is an old game. I don't think backrooms are even really too much of a thing when this came out. This is like, I want to say at least four years old. So it definitely predated like the, the super popular backroom stuff. Goodbye, pop it at. Okay. Oh, God. Even the tapes are getting fucked up. Alright, I have a feeling it's about to, uh... It's about to come to its, its climax. Yeah, pop it up. It's old. We're old. Fear and hunger came out at the start of 2019. The window of the house serves much the same purpose as ours, but anyone who has ever rounded a bend on a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a pale dark manner will tell you that the house is a creature capable of Okay. Time hasn't moved since late 2018. Yeah, I feel like after the pandemic stuff, it got, uh... It got so much worse in terms of, like, how fast time appears to be going, to me at least. I don't know, like, the idea of, like, all of the soul shit more or less happening in two years is, like, crazy to me. But, I don't know. Time is soup now. Time dilates, yeah, you need to exercise your neuroplasticity and do new things. Or else you'll die. Where the fuck? What? Oh, no. Okay, they're floating now. Is there going to be one on the ceiling next? I kind of hope so. Can you fucking move? The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes to... It would be kind of funny if one of these tapes just was, like, normal after all of this distorted shit and was just saying, like, Nonsense. Excuse me. I dream that there are teeth growing all over me. Everywhere on me and in me, like cysts or bone spurs. They're loose, but I can't remove them because I have no hands. I look out through the bedroom window and I see a truck approaching. A young man steps out. Approaches and enters through the front door. His body is covered in swollen ticks the size of quarters. He's walking through the downstairs hallway and laughing. He begins urinating on the wall. He spits on the carpet. He's moving through the first floor, breaking and upsetting things. He goes to the basement and stands at the top of the stairs. I'm angry at him, so I slam the door and he falls down. I can feel his bones snapping. The texts are bursting, losing all black blood everywhere. I'm gonna throw up. I can feel them being ground up, dissolved and torn, splitting and shredding. I leave the door closed. I close my eyes and try to sleep. The teeth continue growing on me until there is nothing left of me but teeth and gums and sinew. The basement is dark. <laughs> wow, that was very Cifferoni pilled, wasn't it? Uh oh. This opened on its own, I didn't click it. The game 
shut itself off. That's not it though, we're going back in. There's no way that's it. I guess this is just part of the gimmick. It did kind of sound like the er 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 Bucky. Stay out of the water. God. Please stop saying that. I don't want those lines like stuck in my head again. I don't want the AM PM dun 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 Uh oh, okay. Oh. There's multiple endings. Be sure to play it multiple times. Wow, everything's all fucked now, huh? Okay. Holy shit, look at that. It's a very nice sausage. Kind of reminds me a little of Farm Pig. That also reminds me of Farm Pig. There's a door there. Or a window that looks like a door. My god, lady. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck, man. Okay, okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. I, we don't need to listen to that anymore. I think we can just leave. Me when work is tomorrow? Yeah, that's fair. Me when I get the black bag? That was me when I was shitting out the Bucky's jerky. The ghost pepper. It burned so hard my balls went numb. It was a unique sensation. We gotta turn the TV on. Something fucked is sure to be on. What does that say? Someone never came back? You'll never come back? I wonder if the... The plates are not in the same... Oh, okay, now they are. So are you guys, like, following the lore through so far? <laughs> Turn on the lamp? Hold on. I need to break some flying plates. Minute for the roller coaster ride. I don't know if this is meant to be easily legible. Allegory for cancer. You know, I was thinking more trauma than anything, but maybe. Oh, fuck. That hurts my goddamn eyes. Holy shit. Why? Thinking about the ticks. We played a game not too long ago. Wasn't it ticks in the sunflower game that the the ticks were representations of something different and they'd get burned off of the kid? I thank you, Zepper. I appreciate the 78 months. How are you? Oh god, it's a manlit door. Holy shit, Danny DeVito's little house. Okay. Well... Uh, 
That's still going. Weren't ticks a metaphor for homosexuality? I don't recall what it was. Maybe there is no deeper meaning. The surrealist game about autism that transformed into hot anime. Yes, yes. That one was very good. I liked it a lot. Lady's got a set of lungs on her. She sure does. So, um... I guess in theory I should be looking for a tape. That's usually what progresses these things. But I haven't seen anything... In a while. And usually it's just the recorder now. I don't even think we've been finding tapes. Oh, autism, not gay, sorry, got them confused. That's fucked up, Oak Tree. Oh, I'm a, I'm a fool. Here it is. The basement is currently locked. I can't go in there. Okay. Very cool. Very cool, Kanye. Where the fuck... I, she, I, I should have remembered the order in which the tapes appear. I don't know if it's the same, but... Oh, I don't like that. You stay on. That poster's missing. There's some fucky shit happening for sure. Okay. Hurts. That seems like if there was an area associated with that, it would be a bathroom, but... Makes me tingly in my nethers. Okay, Cifferoni. My mild criticism of this so far is after, like, the first distorted tape, it's kind of like... Okay, we're gonna put it in, we're gonna listen to some weird fucked up noises for like 15 seconds and then we're gonna, like, I don't know, I felt like the tape should be fewer and more impactful at this stage of the game. It was fine earlier when they were actually saying things, but right now it's like, oh, not this asshole again, what do they have to say this time? All right, if you find, if you see a tape, you can let me know if I miss it. You can fucking ha hold my hand on this one if you really want to. Um, we found one. It has to be upstairs, I think. It could also be on the stairs. There was one that just popped up on the stairs at some point. Up your butt and around the corner. Dude, my butt's too tight for that. You're not going to be able to hide that shit up there. It's a virgin hole, you know? Floating tape in bedroom? Okay, I'll try to find it. Oh, yep, right here. No, I was an oak tree. What do you think he's trying to communicate to us? Okay, now we gotta find another one. Hmm. Us tops. Seeing JFC say us tops is really funny to me. Here it is. Finally, the basement. The 
bite down. Yeah, I heard that too. Oh. There is an important distinction that must be drawn between the words deception and vivisection. A distinction that would appear to be lost on you. Your purpose was to listen, and yet at every turn you have pride, you have prodded, and you have interfered. Have you not been paying attention? Did it not occur to you that as an organism existing within a greater organism, your intrusion would be felt? And still you harass. And now, like the wayward spider who witlessly settles upon a sleeper's tongue, you will be swallowed. Because oh. the truth is this. When a house is both hungry and awake, every room becomes a mouth. Okay. We got bored by a house. That's most definitely what's up. Okay, we're not done yet. I can only move forward. I can't look around or, or in a, move in any other direction. going to be bored by anything, I would want it to be my house. Okay. So is that the actual ending? Or, or the me, it, let me start it again and see if like there's still fucked up shit or if it resets to like the base state of the game. I feel like I, I should probably check one more time. I feel like that was the ending. But I, I don't know for sure. Oh. Okay. It just goes straight into the the game again, so. What happens to a house when it is left alone? When it becomes worn and aged? When its paint peeled, and its foundations begin to sink. When it goes for too long unlived in. What does it think of? What does it dream? The village people never would have let this happen. Look at those creatures who built it. Died into existence only to abandon it. That's usefulness no longer satisfies. I take that back. I, I I had a joke there, but I fucked it up. I don't think the village people sang them. our house. Who the fuck sang that? They stare for long hours into the darkness. The our house in the middle of the street song. Was that the village people? Am I on drugs? Here. Here's someone again, I'm not alone. And each time it is wrong. And the heart starts over. It may find itself inventing ghosts to walk its floor, making friends with its shadow puppets, laughing and whispering to itself at the end of some quiet cul-de-sac. Okay, I think maybe it the village people are saying it. That's what chat seems to be saying right now. Its basement may fill with churning acid like an empty stomach. And its gorge may rise as it asks itself through clenched teeth, what did I do wrong? It may grow bitter. It may grow hungry. So hungry and so bitter that its scruples dissolve and its Chad, right now I was making a joke because like three people said madness in a row. While a house may hunger, it cannot starve. And so, in fever and anger and loneliness, it may simply lie in wait. Doors open. Shades drawn. Hallways empty. Hungry. Me too. You and me both, sister. 
So what, is this like a fucked up advertisement for Zillow? <laughs> like, you gotta make sure the houses are, are you know, taken care of. Keep them, keep, don't let them rot. Don't abandon them. Just let the, the real estate companies buy them up. Be pampered. Zillow is actually the ultimate force for good. That's probably not the message I was supposed to receive from that. But that's the message I received. And I'm sticking to it, I think. The creepy pasta narration with extra steps. Is someone gonna come and like kick me in the fucking face now? I've just been sitting here on this floor like a worm. Is it like commentary on the fact that there are enough houses for everybody and it's not literally the house that gets angry but the society gets angry that you know there's perfectly good houses that people are not allowed to occupy sort of thing or a Zillow advertisement I'm 50 50 on those all right I think that's it okay we have one more game for you tonight. I went back and looked at the back catalog of a developer you know, or maybe you don't, but most of you probably know the Alessa Dev. You know our boy, Dasso. I feel like we have to play this one at some point. This is everybody. This rolls off the tongue. <laughs> There's that ugly little fucker. I hate this guy. Hello, sorry, I didn't know you were there. I guess you must be, oh, I see, that's okay, anyway. I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Sushi Fish. I am a Bzazuzazu from the planet BZ9340838. In my planet, there's no such thing as natural gravity. Our gravity is artificial. During many, many eons, we lived without gravity until a brilliant scientist created a satellite that could generate artificial gravity for our planet. I work in the station that monitors the satellite that generates the artificial gravity. I have three crewmates, Eureka. Sorry, it's uh, uh, that's my weave showing. When it's not in the anime, it's Eureka, Brocco, and Zaru. They are really nice. That's like an Evangelion thing. Our job is to make sure everything works all right. Actually, it's my turn to monitor the satellite right now. Why don't you come with me? Come on, it's going to be fun. Like, if you didn't have prior knowledge, would you believe that this guy, the guy who made this game about the cute little Sue shirt, fish shirt, would make, like, Alessa shake your cake? What the fuck was that? Was that clown titties? Oh my god, there's there's more of them. That's Brocco, one of my crewmates. Hello, Brocco, how are you feeling today? I'm having trouble, it seems I can't see very well. Perhaps any glasses, there must be something wrong with my eyes. I think I found the problem. Your hair is covering your eyes. What? No way, that's impossible. My hair is like a friend to me. Okay. Brocco loves flowers. Brocco's bed. Hmm. Oh my god, it's VI Pizza. Look at her. Hello, Zaru. Beautiful day, isn't it? <clears throat> huh? 
Hello, Zaru. Beautiful day, isn't it? Please. Bzz, 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 bzz. Can't you see I'm meditating? I wish to be alone. Go do something else, please. Okay. Have you heard this one? A space octopus goes into a space bar inside an asteroid. The end. Ha 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 ha. Isn't it funny? I'm glad you liked it, Zaru. I made it myself. Okay, I'll see you later. I need to go back to work. So much to do. Please leave me alone. Damn. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It looks... Are we gonna kill her? Hold up. Spaceship will come back in two months. The storage room, it's better not to touch anything. This is surreal. He made this game before the Alessa stuff. Fucked up V V V V V V V maybe. I don't know if he's actually gonna be able to make a platforming game like that, an RPG maker. You're late. Sorry, Eureka. I was celebrating my birthday. Good night, Ruthie. What? Your birthday? Today isn't your birthday. Of course it is. Why would you say it isn't? I know your date of birth. Today is not your birthday. What makes you say that? It's not your birthday, you doofus. Yes, it is. It's my birthday. Why do you hate birthdays? It really is like sushi. Enough. I'll go eat something. Just work, okay? Make sure everything's okay with the satellite. The gravity of our planet depends on our work. Just don't ruin anything. Okay. I love birthdays. So, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to wait or if I'm supposed to be doing something here. It doesn't seem like there's anything I can interact with. I guess maybe one of them will light up and I have to turn it off, maybe? I'm not certain. Is this little bzz, 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 creature a manlet? No, I don't think so. I think he's like some weird little blue alien. How stupid are the other people on planet that they all they all of people got selected for the super important gravity maintaining job? Nobody wants to work anymore. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? Can you move up? I don't think so. That would be kind of bizarre. Doesn't seem like I'm able to do much. No, I must be missing something here. I'm trolling, for sure. What if this is it? What if they just lock you in Gabe's jail and that's the plot of the game? There is no gravity machine. You're just meant to be imprisoned in here until you die. Oh my god, I pressed it like a hundred times there, I swear. I swear, bro. <laughs> Who said that? Uh-oh. Come on, who is it? Brocco, Zaru, Eureka? I'm not Braku, Zaru, or Eureka. Okay. How funny would it be if they said they were Alessa? <laughs> A friend. See, you don't look that friendly to me. Oh, 
Oh, I love to meet friends. Friendship is wonderful. So you were my new friend then? Fantastic. It makes me happy. What is your name, friend? Uh, friend? Are you there? No, it would be hilarious, Romelia. I'm your friend. I'm always here. I've always been here waiting. So you're going to tell me your name, friend. Your crewmates, they are mean to you. They are not good, they are bad. They're not bad, they're also my friends. They are not your friends, I am your friends. Yes, you're my friend too, but why won't you tell me your name? You must get rid of them. They are mean and will interfere in our friendship. What? That's horrible. Are you sure? Kill them, kill them all. After they die, they will be happy. They will become good. They'll be happier after I kill them? How do you know? That's a great emote, almighty Zerg. Aren't we friends? You can trust me. I'm your friend. Kill them and make them happy. Okay, I'll kill them. Thank you. You were the best friend I could possible have. Do it as soon as possible, end their lives. Don't worry, just leave it to me, I will kill them all. Easily convinced. Can't stand being in this place any longer, I'm hungry, bring me something to eat that's in order. Poison in the storage, okay. Isn't it convenient? The poison's right next to the food. That seems like uh, maybe not the best setup. Done, the poison food is ready. Uh, did you bring me food? Yes, here it is. Ah. My insides! What did you do to the food? Yes, I did it! Eureka is dead! Holy shit! Stone cold killer! Look at him! He's sitting there all smiles and fucking sunshine while she's fucking doing a headstand. I know exactly what I need to do to kill this one. Holy shit! How fucking hard is her head? God damn, bitch. And then there was this guy with the, the hair in his face. Is he not here anymore? This is brutal. Yeah, this is high impact violence. We're making dent heads. We're poisoning people. Where the fuck is the other loser? My innocence is being stripped away. They're probably hiding. Does that sound like lasers? Yeah, a little bit. Hey, Brocco, what are you doing? Hey, bzz, bzz. Eureka told me to fix the conference room table. I can barely see anything, though. Can you help me? Lend me that hammer over there. This is my chance. I can use the hammer to kill him. Brocco, hee hee. That was easy. Yes, you did a great job. I was right. You were the right one. Okay, that was fun. Now what? Now that the three sacrifices have been made, I can be part of the physical plane once again. Thank you, bzz, bzz, bzz. I waited for eons. Thanks to your efforts, I'm part of the physical plane again, and now it is time to end this universe. And that's how Alessa was born. Wonderful. That's how the Big Bang of that universe came to be, I suppose. Simply incredible. 
simply incredible. Oh, fuck. Three possible endings based on your choices. I think I'm okay with the one I got. I think I got the correct one. What happens if you choose not to kill your friends? Now, what happens if you say no? Do you guys want me to play that again? Did you want me to did you want me to see the pacifist ending? And then we can get that and then there will be like this fucked up esoteric secret ending. All right, I guess we can do it. I'll just skip the dialogue and and just go to it. Shouldn't take more than a minute or two, I suppose. Excuse me, I'm, I'm losing steam really quick, though. I'm so sleepy. Need to maybe wake up a little bit earlier than, like, or later than 7 in the morning. Need a happy medium between, like, waking up at, like, 5 in the afternoon and 7 in the a.m. I think 12 would be nice. 12 would be a good spot to have it. Whataburger's run? No. I already ate earlier today, so I can't eat Whataburger. Maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh -huh, mm -hmm, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, yeah. The blessed 10 a.m. wake up. It is nice waking up as the sun's coming up, I will say that. It's been a while. So what the fuck happens if you simply say no? Like, there's gonna be more gameplay, right? Jeff the Killer. I didn't really get scared by the Jeff the Killer one, but I really did not like the smile dog image when it first came out. I think Smile Dog was way worse than Jeff the Killer, personally. And it's so stupid. Like, I look at it now, and it's like this stupid fucking, like, Germa Dog. <laughs> but back then, I don't know, man. It hit different. It was scary. Sometimes I miss being able to be, like, actually fucking uh, dismantled by things like that. Which one was Smile Dog? Let me pull it up. Fucking go to the Goog. On um, the one I'm talking about, because there's a couple different kinds. It's like Jeff the Killer. There are a few. This is the smile dog that I'm referring to. Like, I thought this shit was like the scariest fucking thing. Um, absolute, just. I don't know, dude. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me. <laughs> No, if it popped up in a video game, I would laugh. So, <laughs> that's, you know, growth, growth, you know, personal journey progression. That's funny, splitting. Looks worse than I remember. Worse in what way? Worse is in, like, not impactful or, like, worse is in scarier. Because I would agree with the former. I'm afraid I'm going to mash through the dialogue and say I'm going to kill my friends. There is one that's like a husky with dentures. No, I'm sorry, but I won't kill my crewmates. Even if you're telling the truth, I just can't do it. Oh, fuck. I accidentally... Fool, can't you see? If you don't kill them, they are the ones who will kill you. They are not your friends. They are enemies. I am your only friend. My friend, I don't even know your name yet. So you won't kill them, then please could you do something for me? As long as it doesn't involve murder. 
the gravity button. I wish to see it press just one second. What? The gravity button? But if I do that, the whole planet will lose gravity in this station too. Just a few seconds, please. What do you guys think? I'm gonna be a good person. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. It's too dangerous and I would lose my job. She's gonna scream again. I thought you'd be the one, but I guess I was wrong. I will have to keep waiting. Scream in three, two, one. Goodbye, friend, then. I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your wishes. Ah! There's the fucking blue man group. Or maybe the blue they them group. The spaceship is here. We're going back home. We will be replaced. At last, I couldn't stand being in this place any longer. It's been quite an interesting experience. The spaceship is here. I can't see anything. I'll miss this place. Why? That seemed fucking horrible. What are you talking about? Alrighty. Excellent. Absolutely fucking excellent. Whoo wee. Alrighty, fellas. I think uh, that is probably going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a good start to your week. I think one of the next things I want to do, I want to play that Yumi Tuki shit finally. Probably going to do that. And then I still haven't forgotten about Skarim. Uh, take it easy, dogs. Good day, good night, whatever the fuck it is for you. I am going to go eat a pickle. Uh, goodbye. Hit the gravity. All right, watch this. Watch this. I'm going to hit the gravity.